we're starting right away today because I missed you too heckin much. <laughs> Come on. Only I would take a week off and then be forced into taking additional days off because of electricity. you all so much it's so good to see you it's so good to see you i hope you've got your coffee or your tea i've got a new mug because the lap i went to target okay during my vacation and the absolute let me tell you the absolute last thing i needed was a new mug but come on it's so cute it's so cute You like my hair? Do you like the glasses? I was like, are these, um, are these glasses like too much? But I don't know. I kind of like them. I kind of like, I like them with the blonde hair. I like them with the blonde hair. I feel like before I wouldn't have liked them. Yeah, we only got to stream for like an hour on Thursday because then the Wi Fi went out because of the hurricane. Useless information guy, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Happy Saturday. Sunday. Oh my god, it's Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Oh god. Uh, blonde is my color. Thank you so much, Ill. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, so this is what happened. I took a week off for self-care, and then I came back all triumphant on Thursday, ready to connect with you all and be like, yay, let's make some progress in Breath of the Wild. And then um, the power sort of like flickered, and the Wi-Fi just was gone for a bit. Um, and so we... we we sacrificed that stream up. Wait, wait, Julia, did you ban pretzel rocks? Because that's... <laughs> Argo, Argo, six months, six months. Thank you so much for the six Linus months. We've got a sack in the chat, everybody. We've got a sack in the chat. Um, Argo, thank you so much for those six months. I freaking I love you and adore you, but Julia, the pretzel rocks is is my bot. <laughs> Bring it back. Can you unban that, Julia? Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I'm cracking up. I'm laughing so hard. So pretzel rocks is just the bot that is like playing music for us. Um, is it still playing music even though we banned it? Can you still hear? Okay. Um, basically, it's just telling us what song is on. It would stop if I paid money for it, but I don't feel like doing that, so. <laughs> I love you though, Julia, so freaking much. Thank you for being on it, absolutely on it. Um, also, Nilly, not only did the stream end mid-sentence, but it ended mid me being like, I'm scared, keep me company. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom. <laughs> So that sucked. Do you love it? Look at how cute he is. Can we can we all just can we take a moment? Can we take can we take just a moment? Because um my cat is in a pride bandana. My cat is in a pride bandana. I went to Petco yesterday. Um when the power was out, I was like, oh, it's hot in here. It got hot like immediately. It got like super, super hot immediately. <laughs> And so we were like, let's just like leave the house. Um, and so we went like shopping because that's what you do, right? When you're craving air conditioning, you go shopping. That's what you do. Um, and I walked into Petco and the first thing that I saw, the absolute first thing that I saw was a whole pride display. And it was like a bunch of really cute things, most of which for dogs. They don't make a lot of stuff for cats because cats don't, I guess, like to wear stuff. I don't know. Most of the cute stuff was for dogs. I'm not going to lie. I thought about buying it for my future dog, but I was like, no, Lilith, stop. This is not okay. So we got this bandana and all of the proceeds, all of the proceeds go toward um, the... Trevor Project. So I was super, super excited about that. Uh, no, Jesse, by the time I got to the P.O. box, it was closed. Um, so that was a real bummer. So I'm not going to be able to pick it up until tomorrow morning. Um, so we'll open it on Thursday if you're there. Um, I, won't often, I won't open it off stream, but if you're there on Thursday, we'll open it. If not, we'll open it next time you're on stream. Um, but I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Um, but we did, we did stop by and they were closed, which I was like, this is this is rude. 
Yeah, I was super excited um, that the money was going to the Trevor Project and that it was all going to the Trevor Project. Um, like it wasn't just like a portion, it was like all of it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll buy this bandana. Um, I actually would love to fundraise for the Trevor Project in the future. Um, I really, really believe in what they do and I think that it would be really awesome. Uh, Clap, welcome on in, good to see you. Um, and useless information, um, Trevor Project is, you know what? Like, let me just, why don't I just put a link to it? Um, it's an organization that helps primarily um, LGBTQIA plus youth, um, but they do really excellent work, really, really excellent work. Um, that I think will bring you to the Trevor Project. I don't know why it's such a long link. Probably because I googled it. Um, Lizzie, you've done something in the, in as well. Oh my god, you're so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for letting me know. I'm trying to make it a habit to just like pop by the P.O. box from time to time because last time we went, like Silky opened everything because it was all to both of us. So Silky opened everything on Friday when I was there on her stream. Um, and I like was blown away by how much stuff was in there. So I was like, I need to go more often. You know, when we started that PO box, I just assumed that like nobody was going to use it. And I, I don't know. And so every time you all send me mail, like letters and just literally anything, I'm blown away. Um, so thank you for being the cutest, the absolute cutest. Um, and clap, thank you for the compliment on my room. Normally I have lights in the background. Um, but the, the one on the left keeps falling, I think because it's humid and um, I just, I can't be bothered. So we're just doing natural lighting today. <laughs> we're doing natural lighting. Oh my God, Argo, your dog. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope he's, I hope that the cardiologist is able to make him better. Um, there's nothing, nothing worse than having your pet be sick um it's literally the worst feeling so i hope that he gets better soon um a useless information we're not we're not raising money right now we actually just finished raising money for the trans women of color collective last month um so we um are, are gonna take a little break from fundraising <laughs> hi silent m hyper good to see you I feel like because I'm drinking out of a mug with ice in it, you're going to hear me slurping this stream. I hope that's okay with you. I hope that's okay with you. <laughs> oh, God. What is the best ice cream I've ever had? Van Leeuwen's? Is that... Has Van Leeuwen's become not a regional thing? Because it, it started as a Brooklyn thing. Um, and I used to just get it from the truck. There was like a Van Leeuwen's truck in Brooklyn. Um, and it's like, they make vegan ice cream that's cashew based and it's just so good. It's just so good. Silent, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, and Amina, thank you so much. And thank you for the four months. How has it been four months? How has it been four months? Um, and thank you for the compliments on my hair. I really Love do your like it. Love. I wasn't sure. Cause when free. I went, I was like, I want to be blonde and she was like um you know your hair is like brown and you dyed it with a box so most likely your dreams of becoming blonde are not going to work <laughs> and i was like okay what do we do and she was like why don't we do highlights um troll thank you for the follow welcome on in and I was like, okay. And I was like, really not sure about it. Um, and I was like, kind of whatever. Um, but it ended up take. She was so shocked, just like by how well like the color took. Um, so I really, really like it. Next time I go, I'm gonna get like more highlights so that it's even blonder. Um, and I'm excited about that. Um, but I'm gonna take my time doing it um, because I don't want my hair to get damaged. This is my first time having hair that I actually care about not damaging because normally my hair is like shaved or very, very short. So it's sort of like, okay, let's damage the hair because it'll just grow right back. But now I'm like, I kind of like this length. I feel like it's, I feel like it works. And I know Eloise isn't here because she's doing something, but I knew that Eloise would be proud of me for doing the middle part because when we met, 
I was like, Eloise, I could never pull off a middle part. And she was like, everybody can pull off a middle part. And now I believe her. <laughs> and now I believe her. Good morning, Mally. It's so good to see you. Welcome on in. Uh, when am I going to play Nettlewood again? That's a really good question, Walnut. Um, I used to play it on... Su I used to play Animal Crossing every day. And then I went to just playing it on Sundays. Um, and if we're being honest, I think I just got burnt out. Um, I got really burnt out on it. I thought that restarting and playing slowly was going to fix that. And it did. But it also, I just felt like... I don't know. I felt like I was forcing it a lot. And I just felt like there's other stuff that I wanted to try and wanted to play. Um, and then I also, it was this interesting thing where I realized that I had built a community around a single game. And when I stopped playing that game, a lot of people stopped coming. And that's totally okay and totally normal. Um, and just like a fact of streaming. Because here's the thing. As a viewer, sometimes I log on to Twitch to watch somebody play a very specific game. So it makes a lot of sense that a bunch of the community would not tune in when I'm not playing Animal Crossing. Totally makes sense. I'm not hurt by it or anything, but it got me thinking about the community that I want to build long term. And I definitely want to build a community that is here for the community, right? I want long term this space to be a place where we all gather and we gather no matter what it is that I'm playing. And I know that that's like a lofty goal and I know that it'll take a while to build something like that. Um, but it's important to me that that's what we end up with in the end um, is just a community that's here to like chill out and chat and be gay and be silly and be serious and whatever we do. Um, look at Moon right now. He's just looking. Um, and I've found that when I stream Animal Crossing, I do very, very well. Um, in Twitch's eyes, um, you know, my numbers go up, my subs go up, the Discord becomes more popular, but I just, I want to be building a community that's not just there for the game. So I am taking a little break from Animal Crossing. I am definitely gonna play it again because it's literally one of my favorite games of all time. I have played Animal Crossing my whole freaking life and I just love it. So I am going to keep playing it um, and you better believe that the second they put out an update, um, I'll be playing it. Um, but for the future, for the next, probably like probably for all of July, unless they put out some kind of banger, um, some kind of banger update, I'm probably not going to be playing it. Thank you for all these follows, Blissful and That Kitty Elf. Welcome on in. Um, <laughs> you just choked on your on your animal. Your you just choked on your Animal Crossing. Um, I'm I'm sorry that I made you choke, but we are a lot of us are a lot of us are gay. Not all of us are gay. We you know we take all kinds here, but a lot of us are gay, or at least maybe. Is it true to say that like if 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 we're not gay, maybe we wish that we were gay? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Rob. It's good to see you. Hmm. And thank you for the follow. Thank you for these fellows. Wow, that's so sweet. I love it. Um, but anyway, Walnut, um, I'm very, very aware that a lot of people are very, like, excited by Nettlewood and into it. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm not doing any Animal Crossing content. I've actually been working on some, um, but it's for YouTube. So my new series that's coming out soon, Lilith Builds on YouTube, a lot of what I'm building in that series is Animal Crossing stuff. Um, so if you're into Animal Crossing, it's not going away forever here. It's just going away for right now. Um, but it will still be happening on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out my YouTube channel, um, you could also like catch up on all my old content over there. We're almost monetized on YouTube and really, really exciting. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So if you have never watched all my YouTube videos, why don't you catch up? <laughs> Why don't you catch up? Islanders, welcome on in. Thank you for the five months. Oh my goodness, you are almost a sack. You are almost part of the sack squad, my friend. <laughs> Walnut, you are so sweet. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, so I, and, and listen, honestly, I woke up this morning and I was like, I kind of want to play Animal Crossing. And I actually, I actually told myself not to. Um, and it's for the reason that I just said, which is, um, I want long term to be building a community that is showing up for each other, showing up for me, showing up for Moon in a pride bandana, um, and not just to see what I'm up to in Animal Crossing. Um, and I think, you know, I'm so 
I'm so grateful to Animal Crossing and the Animal Crossing community. I would not have survived what I survived last year. Like moving out of my favorite place in the world to come here and take care of my grandmother with dementia and, you know, switching to, you know, being completely in the house all the time and being in a, in a, like, in a town where I honestly, when I first got here, really didn't feel very safe. It's not very gay friendly. It's not very difference friendly. Um, and I just found like an incredible online family and I found an incredible passion all through Animal Crossing. So I am so in love with that game and so indebted to it, but I'm so bored of it. <laughs> I'm so bored of it. Um, they need to give me an update. They need to give me an update. Brewster, when? Brewster, when? Listen, the second that I can putz around with a cup of coffee, you'll see me playing that game, okay? Mark my words. Mark my words. Really, Nicole? You like the just chatting? Well, that's that makes me really happy. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I could sit here and talk to you for the whole time. Like, sometimes I'm like, do we have to play a game? <laughs> I mean, today I'm excited to play Breath of the Wild. I really am, because I've been... I'm not playing it at all off stream um, because I want to do it all with you. And I've been like, ooh, I've been missing it. Moon, do you want to come say hi? It says, it says proud pet on his, on his thing. It's so cute. It's so cute. Kitty, Kitty, that's a brand new sub. Oh my gosh, Kitty. Certainly, Laz, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow, Kitty. Listen, I have a message for all new subs, okay? I know you're new here, so you've probably never heard it. But here is my message. Remember to wander aimlessly, spread joy, and revel in the little things, my friend. It is so good to have you here. Can we get all the love in the chat um, for our brand new sub fam member, that kitty elf, which is literally the cutest name ever. Um, Moon, come here. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> here is Moon, my three-legged cat who is repping a bandana that says proud pet. It says proud pet. Stop, he's so cute. Look how proud he is. Moon is definitely gay, by the way. Sulky and I talk about this all the time. Do you ever talk about the sexuality of your pets? Is that weird? <laughs> so here's the thing. Moon is definitely 100% asexual, like definitely asexual, but He's also very gay. Like he has the queer, he has more queer energy than me. And I just need you to know that. <laughs> he is the he is the gayest little boy. Um, hi, hello, Bedlam. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. And Kathy, I love that you joined for Breath of the Wild. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Uh, your cat is bisexual. I love that. I love that for us. <laughs> I don't know. He just has a really gay energy. My other cat that passed away, Sebastian, also had a really gay energy. Um, I feel like Pickle is is not gay. Um, I don't know what Pickle is, but he doesn't have the same kind of energy. You didn't realize that Moon had three legs? Yeah, he's got three um, legs. He lost his... So when I, when I got him, um, I was working at a cat shelter. And he came in and something had attacked his little leg... Um, and he was 15 ounces. He was so tiny. Um, and I did not think he was going to live. Um, he would, had like a horrible infection. Half of his leg had been chewed off. Like it was, it was not looking good. Um, but they were like, you know, we need somebody experienced to take him and try to keep him alive. Um, so I took him and his two brothers and I became obsessed with him like absolutely obsessed and I did everything I possibly could to save him um which meant like way too many vet visits <laughs> Dom it's so good to see you welcome on in thank you for the 100 biddies um my boyfriend is I'm called Sebastian he just called me oh, his morning, name is Mila, such a plus oh my god I love that I love it is it is actually um I feel like all any Sebastian I've ever met has had like a gay energy um so yeah, I didn't think he was going to live. And then we got him to a big enough weight um, where he was able to have his leg amputated and that got rid of the infection and um, he just did amazing. And so now he's just got, 
He's just got three legs, <laughs> but he's been like that since he was, I don't know, three months old. So he doesn't know any different. He doesn't know any different. Ooh, you're such a good boy. All right, go ahead. Go pop. Thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> oh, thanks for taking care of your babies so well. They are the lights of my life. I don't know what I would do without them, genuinely. Um, it's I've always been around animals, um, but I never had cats. My whole life, I always had dogs. Um, so I was like, always wanted a cat, but I was allergic. Um, and so I thought I never could get one. And then my mom started working with this person who was because so at her work all of a sudden there was like this wild colony of feral cats and they weren't being taken care of and they weren't spayed or neutered and they were just going like reproducing like wild um hi tiny it's so good to see you and she worked with this person um and spayed and neutered all of them and there was like 40 or 50 of them like some woman in the neighborhood had passed away like rip so sad um but she must have had like a lot of crap like a lot of cats and they all just became like wild um and so she spayed and neutered like 50 cats. i mean not her she like she worked with the vet to get them done um and one of the last litters was Pickle, and he lived the first six months of his life outside. And then she finally caught him um, and got him neutered. But when they were neutering him, they realized he had like a like a cold or like some kind of upper respiratory infection. Um, so he was kept in the cage for like a little bit longer than they usually do for recovery um, so that she could put medicine in his food and he would get better before she released him. And I like went to visit. Um, I was like here visiting and I went to visit and went down into the basement where she kept them um, and saw him and he was like hissing and he was all scary, but he was, there was something about him. And I was like, I, I was like, mom, I'm taking this cat. Like this is this is my cat, like this is meant to be. Um, and I brought him home and I kept him in his cage because he was so scared, like he was very, very wild. Um, and what I would do is like, I let, I gave him his space, but when I went to bed, I would unlock the cage and like close my bedroom door and just like let him walk around while I was sleeping so that he could like get used to me and my scent without me being like a big bumbling thing around him. Um, and it worked. and he has become like the most social cat he is literally the type of cat where i could like take him to a hospital and he would just be sweet to people and like everybody would love him um whereas moon is like way more anxious you would never know that pickle was like a wild cat so yeah that's how i got the two of them <laughs> yeah pet hoarding is really sad i mean i feel like it's extra sad when it's like an older person um because i just i don't know like from from moving in with my grandma um, and seeing, like, number one, how hard it has been for us to get help for her. Like, you know, like, I'm here, we're taking care of her, but she, like, ever since she fell this winter, like, she can't walk on her own. She can't go to the bathroom by her own, on her own. Um, so, like, if I'm not with her, so if I'm, like, here or something, like, she needs somebody. Um and so we had to, like, we're trying to get some help in so that it's not just all on us. Um, like for, like, you know, they come a couple, like a few times a week just to kind of give us a break, let us leave the house, things like that. Um, and it's been so hard and so unreliable. And I, like, we'll get somebody and then they'll leave and then we'll get somebody else and then they'll quit. And like, I'm like, is there something wrong with us? But apparently it's just... They're not probably not being paid enough. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's been really, really challenging. And so like seeing what older people go through and how hard it is to get like compassionate care, it's not surprising to me that they would end up with a lot of animals. And I, I it just it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Hi, Melissa, it's so good to see you. Uh, Walnut, you're trying to get a tuxedo cat? Tuxedo cats, I think, are the cutest. Um, I love all black cats um, because I worked at a shelter and I saw that like they were very often overlooked. Um, so all three of my cats were black. Um, we lost Sebastian about two years ago now. Um, and But all three of them are, are like, black or tuxedo. Um, and I just think that they're the cutest. 
Tiny, relate to that. Well, I'm sending you lots of love. I'm sending you lots of love. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, also, I've found that, like, I don't know if this is real because I'm like, in humans, like, gender is like whatever. Like, I just feel like, I just feel like gender is like not a thing. But I don't know. It's odd. In animals, like, in cats, I've found from work, and I worked at a cat shelter for eight years. But I've found that like this, the boy cats are just like these big meaty, like gooey mama's boys. Whereas the female cats are like way more independent. Like they're still sweet, but they're just like, I don't know. Like I feel like the boy cats are like very into humans and like cuddles. Um, so I always, I always get boy cats. I don't know. It's weird. Um, Ultra Snazzy, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Um, Tiny, mean, honestly, same. Honestly, same. Like, I, like, gender is one of those things where I just, like, haven't put a lot of thought into it. Like, I definitely, I've talked to you all about how, like, I really like feeling androgynous and I really, um, I don't know, there's a lot about me where, like, um, I don't know, like, I don't subscribe to a lot of, like, traditionally um feminine things i don't a lot of traditionally feminine things make me uncomfortable but i also at the same time i just like don't have the energy to think about it <laughs> like is that a mood like i just like don't have the energy to think about like my like if my gender is more complicated than just woman like i just like i just can't be bothered <laughs> it's just like i'm like i don't care it's fine like i'm i'm fine with just being like a, a woman like i just i don't know i feel like i'd rather think about something else <laughs> Angus is the mama's girl. Oh, that's so sweet. See, there's definitely, there's definitely like exceptions to that. Um, but like overall, from all of the cats I've experienced, that's what I've seen. Um, but like my cat Sebastian was not ooey gooey at all. Like he was very, very like he wanted love, but it had to be on his terms. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, kind of how male birds are typically cuddly babies and then the female birds take longer to warm up. Yeah, and that makes me think, like... I don't know, humans are just so much more complicated because we make shit up, you know? Like, like, maybe there's something hormonal involved that, like, can make us behave in certain ways, but we just make up so many, like, gender roles that we've just messed it all up. We've just messed it all up. <laughs> I had like one thought about gender um and decided that I'm genderqueer and never thought about it again. Yeah, honestly, I've always liked I've always liked genderqueer as like a explanation. Um cuz I you know, I studied queer the queer theory in graduate school, so I've always And if you know anything about queer theory, it's like queer theory is all about like labels be gone like queer theory is not super into labels which i think i definitely have a bit of that in me um i find labels really productive especially with finding community but as definers they make me uncomfortable um so to like spend a lot of time defining the intricacies of my gender just is something i'm not gonna do i don't know um i total respect for people that do do it like don't get me wrong um it's just not something that i'm feeling overly motivated to do guys so brokenly i missed you so much i missed you so much um i think that genderqueer though if i was going to like define it i think that maybe would be one that i would be comfortable with um but i don't know i don't know your two previous cats were boys and they were snuggly. Where's Midnight? Couldn't spare. Listen, Melissa, I have a question for you about M Midnight. Like, help me, help me figure this out. Was Midnight bottle fed? Because that's another thing I've noticed is that cats who are bottle fed become wild. Like, very, like, I don't know, energetic and um can be kind of standoffish which you would think would be the opposite but i don't know it's from it's from my experience which is limited but um tips for keeping cats from eating plants around the house lauren first of all hello it's good to see you 
one thing you'll see is that I have most of my plants up on shelves. Um, but the ones that aren't, um, the big, so my cats don't really eat the plants. They eat the dirt. I don't know if that's a thing that you experience, but like Pickle has a stomach issue and it makes him want to eat dirt. So <laughs> my issue is more with getting them to not eat dirt. So um, I end up putting rocks on the soil to cover it. Not enough where like this soil can't breathe, but enough where like it kind of stops them from eating that. I'm behind on chat. Tori, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Summer baby Momo, it's good to see you too. Um, did I miss anybody else popping in? I hope not. Um, if I missed any of you, I love you and I've missed you so much. I've missed you so much. Um, it is so hard finding care for, for elderly. It truly is. Um, we found somebody who comes reliably twice a week, um, but can't actually work more than that because she relies on social security which that's like a whole other thing just a whole other thing um like she can only work a certain number of hours a week or she won't be able to get the social security that she needs which i just sometimes this country makes my brain hurt like literally my brain just hurts from thinking about it um but we're actually thinking about just like kind of paying her um without the insurance um for a couple of other days because we love her and my grandma loves her which is the most important thing for me because my grandma's really like her dementia gets worse when she is uncomfortable and she's like me like not a super social person like just anxious with new things um and so the idea of like being cared for by like random people all the time is just something that's really hard for her um you've done a bit with your degrees what are your degrees in tiny um i have a big orange cat back home we think he's part norwegian forest cat what is that i've never heard of that i'm looking it up <laughs> i'm looking it up we're norwegian forest cat oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's so floofy. Stop, I love it. <laughs> Did you want to see it? Do I have a screen where I could show you? I do. I have a show stuff screen. Look at him. Look how majestic. He's, oh my goodness. Look how majestic that cat is. Hi, Moon. It's good to see you, Corbo. It's good to see you. Um... Other, um, I'm so like, ugh. the cutie, welcome on in. It's good to see you. Um, the the brain is going a mile, like a thousand miles a minute right now. And I know I'm in the middle of three conversations. So I'm sorry for that. That's just the way that my brain functions. Um, but I feel like it didn't finish answering the question about how to keep plants, keep cats away from plants. Um, most of the time what I do is anything, especially anything that would hurt my cats, I keep up on a shelf. I'm lucky that my cats are not climbers. Moon only has three legs, and Pickle was born, I guess you would call pigeon toed. I don't know, is that, a, is, that, is that a PC way of saying that? I'm not sure. He's, his legs go funny, um, so he's not a jumper. So my cats are not jumpers, so they're pretty good with not going up on shelves and stuff. Um, so that's my biggest tip, is to just keep them up off the floor. Um, but if you've got like plants that are like in things, Putting them in baskets like this. Can you see? Um, that plant is in like a basket that's much taller than the pot that it's in. And that helps a lot with my cats. And then on top of that, putting rocks. Um, I hope that helps. I don't know. I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert. But this cat. Dom. Can I have it? I would never pay for a cat. Um like from a breeder or anything. But if I would, what is that cat? Wait a minute. What, please somebody tell me, what is the type of cat that's like got really long teeth and like kind of funny ears and like a long face? It's like, they're usually black colored. Um, if I was gonna buy a cat, it would be that cat. They have such a funny face. They look like bats. I, I can't, I don't even know what I would Google to like find it. I genuinely am not sure. 
I'm hoping I'm hoping that one of you knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> the poise, the poise. <laughs> Is it a vampire cat? Stop, because that's what it kind of sounds like. Um, let me look it up. Vampire cat. Wait, no, it's not a vampire. It's not a vampire cat, but that's very funny to look up. Um, no, wait, hang on. What is it called? What kind of cat is it? Oriental short hair? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Stop. This is, if I was ever going to buy a cat, it would be this cat. Specifically, like, just please. Like, I want these they are the funniest looking cats. They're like, like that looks photoshopped. It literally looks like a photoshopped cat. Like, what is that? I just, I love them. I love them so much, but I would never pay for a cat. Like I just, there's so many cats in shelters. I think from working in a shelter, I just like, I couldn't, I would never be able to do it, but I just, I love them. Don't they look like bats? They look like bats. I want one so bad. I want one so bad. If anyone ever like has one that they're getting rid of or something, I'll I'll happily take it off your hands. Um, a saber tooth tiger. Stop. That's so cute. Um, I told you all before I was rudely interrupted by the weather on Thursday that I spent all of my time during vacation that wasn't spent outdoors was spent playing games, of course, but also watching nature documentaries. I've always loved them, but I've just gotten super into them lately. And I've just been like really enjoying watching nature documentaries. We got a we got a subscription to Discovery Plus, um, which is like our freaking seventh subscription service like we have so many streaming services it's not even funny it's like honestly a problem um i do share them with my brother though so at least i'm only paying for half of them but just like it's it's so extra i can't um but we got discovery plus specifically so that i could watch shark week which i think starts today like earnestly starts today there's been like stuff up on there early but it starts like officially today and I'm so freaking excited about it. I'm so freaking excited about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, the... <laughs> I just spilled coffee. It was off camera. But I just spilled it. You know what? I promised you a coffee date and that's what you got. It, it's not a coffee date with Lilith if you're not spilling coffee all over, okay? Now you know. <laughs> Now you know. Um, they do give me old man vibes. They're really cute. I'm keeping them up. Oh my god, Sage! Sage! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I am so excited to write you a letter, my friend. I am so excited. So here's what you gotta do. DM me. Um, on Discord or Twitter. I, I think you and I usually DM on Twitter. So if you want to DM me on Twitter, that's fine. Um, DM me somewhere and let me know where you'd like me to send the letter. If you are more comfortable with like a digital one, that's fine. Um, I'll still like hand write it out and I'll send you pictures and stuff. Um, but I do promise that if any of you share your address with me, um, I'm not creepy. I promise. I'm don't trust anyone on the internet, but I'm not creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, thank you so much. Honestly, that means a lot to me because I'm feeling a little bit confident. Um, but anyway, Sage, I'm really excited. Thank you for spending so much time in the stream that you're able to unlock 40,000 channel points, which is just so wild. Um, I'm going to write it out. I've got my stationery. I've got my little stamp that says handwritten note inside. Um, and I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really excited. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, I told you all, like, I want, like, I'm so excited to send you all letters because I've always wanted pen pal. <laughs> I just feel like there's something so beautiful about sending people handwritten letters. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Blissful Melissa. Good to see you. And Katie, good to see you too. Um, I always joke after giving people my address that they feel 
free they're free to come over and do anything yeah i mean there are a handful of people that have my, my the mods mostly have my address um but everyone else i just give the p.o box because that's just a safer thing to do um oh emily no worries about missing stream enjoy your family day i'm sending you lots and lots and lots of love um we'll have many more streams we're back to a consistent streaming schedule i promise um so we'll have we'll have lots of time together <laughs> Um, somebody's bred an oriental with a Norwegian. Can I look that up? Oriental short hair and Norwegian kitten. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Put it in the Discord, Harsha, because I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing regular old kittens. They're cute, but they're not, they're not mixes. <laughs> There's a stationary community on Twitch. Oh my god, that's so cute. Also, Holly Fox, welcome on in. It's good to see you. Um, I feel like I have announcements for you all. I feel this has been such a wild weekend back because I really didn't come back because of the freaking weather. Um, so I feel like all of the things that I wanted to tell you about, I just didn't get to tell you about. <laughs> if you're new here, well, welcome on in. It's good to see you. And also, we love foxes here. We love foxes here, obviously. Um, so it's really good to have you. <laughs> uh, my first and last name combo is unique, so people can figure out where exactly I am if given that. Oh, wow. I mean, that's why I don't share my last name with people. Like, spoiler alert, fox is not my last name. <laughs> I remember when I said that, some of you were like, really? Like, you really thought that my last name was Fox and I just happened to love foxes that much? It's very funny to me. <laughs> That's very funny to me. Um, but anyway, back to, like, Tiny, I think it was you that said I look lovely today. And I just want you, I want you to know that I appreciate that very much. Um, sad Girl Hours, thank you for the follow. Um, I'm, I hope you're not having Sad Girl Hours today. And if you are, I hope... I hope the vibes here can help a little bit. Um, I've been having sad girl hours for like two months, <laughs> if we're being honest. It's been a rough couple months for me. Um, but lately I'm feeling a little bit better. And I think one of the reasons, um, and I do not say this, please, like don't get me wrong. Those of you who like me deal with a variety of mental health struggles, I am not saying this as this is the thing that's going to heal this. Okay, I'm very, I'm so aware of the fact that all of us that have that deal with mental health issues have been told many, many times to just exercise and it'll go away. Okay, so I'm not saying that, but I have been exercising and I have actually been feeling a lot better. And just like, even if my mental health issues aren't getting better, my confidence is a little bit better and I'm just like feeling like I have more energy. Um, so. Yay for having the motivation to work out. I don't know how long it'll stay, but I'm happy that I'm, I've been doing it. <laughs> Jed, it's good to see you. Yeah, Summer, I knew that your real name was Summer Storm. Obviously. Obviously, that's your real name. It's a badass name. Um, Nav Deep, welcome on in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, so I've been, I've been doing a variety of things. Which I think is what's keeping me doing it because I'm not like, I'm not just doing one thing. So I've been going for runs um three or four times a week and i've stuck with that for like two weeks straight which i'm really proud of this is like the longest in a while that i've kept up a running routine um and i feel like once you hit the two week mark it's kind of like okay you can do this now um so i've been running run walking a lot um three or four times a week i've been going on hikes um which is by far my favorite way to work out um, just because it's like, I'm not focusing on the fact that I'm working out. I'm just focusing on nature and I love nature and it just makes me happy. Um, I've been swimming in the pool. One of the biggest benefits of moving here is that we have a pool in the backyard. Um, and I've been like swimming a lot in the pool, um, which has been great. Um, and then I've of course been doing yoga. Um, but I also have started, and this is the first time in my life that I've ever done this. 
Um, I've started strength training on my arms. Um, we have this like resistance bar thing and I've been doing that every other day and I actually am starting to feel stronger, which is a really cool feeling. It's a really cool feeling. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm like, I hesitate to bring it up because it's sort of like, I just, I've been told so many times, like for the, for the issues that I have with my uterus, I've been told this and for my anxiety and other things. Um, I've been told like, why don't you just run? Why don't you just work out? Why don't you do yoga? Why don't you do X, Y, and Z? Um, and it's an incredibly frustrating thing to hear when you are in a bad place. Like it's just, it's not great to hear. So I'm just like, you know, whatever about saying like, it's helping me, but it is, it is actually helping me. Um, but the circumstances are right right now. So, you know. If I'm in a really bad place, will I continue running? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Hikes scare you? Oh no. Well, I mean, we don't have we don't have a lot of wildlife here. Um we really don't. It's not like anything to be scared of in the in hikes around here. Um, but we do have like I don't know, creepy people. <laughs> I feel like that scares me more. Like, honestly, I feel like I'd rather encounter like a grizzly bear or a coyote than like another person on my hike. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna get swole. Just you wait, I'll show you. I'll show you my muscles. I'll show you. Enjoy your shower, Nicole. Lots of love, lots of love. Um, I can't say why because, oh yeah, please, sad girl, you don't have to explain. Um, I'm just, I'm just sending you good vibes is all. I'm just sending you good vibes. Um, every visit to the doctor starts with go exercise. Um, absolutely. I understand that so much. Um, I can't tell you how many, like my entire life I've struggled with excruciating pain from my period, um, and other symptoms and no one has ever taken it seriously. And most of the time they tell me that I should just be exercising, um, like the the amount of times I've been told that, like, I, I would be a rich person if, if, if they gave me money every time. <laughs> uh, I started lifting a year ago. Oh my gosh, Katie, I'm, I'm just excited to be strong. Like, I've never felt physically strong before. Um, because in the past when I've worked out, it was for the express purpose of losing weight because I was sick and... That was like my express focus. Um, so I've never worked out to feel healthy and I've never worked out to get strong. Um, and I'm really excited that I'm in a place right now in, a, in my healing journey where I can confidently say that I'm working out not to lose weight, but to just feel good, um, to feel stronger, to feel more at peace, um, to feel more connected to my body, which is a feeling that I that used to scare me. Like I never wanted to feel connected to my body. Um, I wanted to pretend I didn't have a body, <laughs> but I'm at a place where I do want to feel connected to my body and I want to take care of it. Um, and I want to appreciate it. And that's what I've been trying to like keep in my mind. Uh, Navdeep, thank you so much for the follow. And Holly, thank you for the follow. And thank you for subbing to my YouTube. Um, I am really, really excited that we are close to being monetized over there. Um, and I have a lot of content that I've been working on this week. Um, I didn't do too much work during my vacation week. Don't worry. Don't yell at me. I did. I got plenty of rest. Um, but I, when I felt excited to work, which I've been feeling excited to work on YouTube stuff, which is a good feeling. Um, I did, and I've got some stuff that's coming this week that I'm really excited about to share with you. Um, and I think that we're going to get to, um, YouTube partner really, really soon. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube, um, please go watch all my videos because all we need right now is more watch hours. Um, hi Dana, good to see you. Um, I hope it's been a good kind of busy, um, but regardless, I'm sending you love. Thanks for popping in. Um, it means the world to me when you all pop in, even when you're busy. Um, and even if you're just saying like, hey, I miss you, um, but I can't stay. Like, it just means a lot that you would think to pop in and say hello. Um, it's like I've said from like 
the beginning. Um, I'm just excited to build a community here in this space. And when you all do that and check in with each other and check in with me, um, I feel like we're really doing it. You know, we're really building a community and I love that. Um, under, uh, ooh, Anurkan. Anurkan? Did I say that right? Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Uh, that's Moon. He is wearing a pride bandana. And he's in his favorite form, which is donut form. <laughs> Can we get the, uh, the, what is the name of that emote? It's new. The noms, noms emote in the chat? Um, because it's a donut. It's a donut form. I think I named it noms. I should name it donut. <laughs> I am on Instagram. If you do um, exclamation socials, I think. There you go. There's my Instagram. I um I have big plans. I have big plans for my um my Twitter and my Instagram. Um, I'm trying to grow them in the same way that I'm growing the space. So my Instagram and my Twitter were both kind of grown from Animal Crossing. Um, and they started as a space where I would share Animal Crossing screenshots and connect with people who played Animal Crossing. And I'm trying to grow those now in the same way that I'm trying to grow this space um, with a different focus. Um, will I probably share some Animal Crossing stuff on there? Yeah, when I start playing again, sure. Um, but I am really just excited to be growing it for people who are not just there to see me churn out Animal Crossing content. Um, like I've definitely lost followers on um, Twitter and Instagram when I stopped sort of posting Animal Crossing content. Um, and that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, like, please, like, <laughs> if you don't like my content, unfollow. Like, that's great. Um, but every time I get a new follower now, I'm like, oh, that person is there for the community and that excites me um so i'm i'm trying over there i got some big plans uh tiny thank you for the two whole months i love Lilas and appreciate Lom you TV. so much so so much um remember to wander aimlessly spread joy and revel in the little things i know you do all of those things already all of those things already <laughs> thank you for the follow not deep i appreciate it Yeah, I've been trying to like um, think about what my Instagram like is gonna mostly focus on. Um, and originally, I thought I would do like still gaming content, um, but not like just Animal Crossing. Um, but I've actually really enjoyed like other stuff too, um, like some lifestyle kind of elements and stuff. So you'll see more of that as well. Um, Obviously, everything I do is always going to have a like at least a little bit of a gaming focus because I am a gamer and I love games. Um, and gaming is a really big part of like my mental health journey and just my life. Um, but it's not the only part of who I am. So I love showing off other parts of it, too. Abby, thank you so much for the mindful moment. And also, hello. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Um, those of you who are new here, Mindful Moment is a chance for us to practice mindfulness together. Um, and we pause whatever it is that we're doing in that moment. Um, and we take a deep breath and unlock our jaw. That might have been my first deep breath of the day. <laughs> um, and we practice mindfulness here by expressing gratitude. Um, find one small thing in this moment that you can be grateful for. Um, even if you are having a bad day, even if you're stressed, um, even if you feel like everything in your life is going wrong, um, find one tiny thing that you can feel gratitude for. Um, my worst days, I look to like my cats for that. So if I'm having a really bad day and I can't grasp anything to feel grateful for, I will hold on to my cats and like, look at their feet and just feel the feel the smoothness of their fur um give you know smell them even like whatever it is something to just tie me to the moment um and i'll just feel grateful for their presence and their unconditional love um and that's there for me in my in my hardest days um but you can also find things like you know i've said this many times there are some days where all i'm grateful for is my coffee the taste of it the smell of it the act of making it the way it makes my energy levels go up, whatever it is. Um, so even if it's that small, 
Um, or it could be larger, like gratitude for a community, um, gratitude for a family member, gratitude for an accomplishment, um, anything that you are feeling grateful for. Um, what I'm grateful for most of all um, today is the fact that I was able to take a week off from work, from streaming, from content, um, from life, really, um, and just sort of think and find myself a little bit and feel a little bit better. Um, okay, we're getting... <laughs> We're getting an annoying thing happening. Mods, can we? Thank you. You're so good. Lily, Lily, I don't even need to ask you. Can you just do it? Just do it. Um, can we just give the mods like lots of love? Um, those of you who are here and you're not a troll, um, we're in sub only mode just for a couple of minutes um, while the mods um, ban all of these people and um, get them out of here. <laughs> What even is this? I could just, why? In the middle of our mindful moment, we're over here talking about how grateful we are. And we have these annoying freaking people come in. Mods, I love you so much. Thank you for being the best. Um, I know this is a lot of work going through and banning all of these people. Um, I love you, I love you, I love you so freaking much. Um, those of you who aren't sub, just hang in there for a minute. We'll, um, We'll let everybody go back to talking. In the meantime, think about what you're grateful for. Um, and I'll keep telling you what I'm grateful for, which is that I had this amount of time um, to take a break, to rest, and to relax. Um, and I'm in incredibly grateful for those of you who were patient and hung out and missed the stream and told me that you missed the stream and missed each other and um, came back on Thursday to, see, to say hello, came back today to say hello. Um, and I'm just really, really grateful for this space. Um, and for all of you, so that's me today. Um, I'm struggling to find a work from home job. I realize not only that traditional work day is not healthy for me, but it doesn't make me happy. Uh, I'm thankful my home and health aren't in danger. Thankful that I can still wake up and watch a stream. Abby, I feel that very much. Um, for me, the work from home thing is mostly about my grandmother. Um, I've been feeling a tremendous amount of stress about the prospect of having to go back to the office, um, because I genuinely don't know, like, I cannot find care. <laughs> I cannot find consistent care for my grandmother. Um, and I thought that by the end of the summer, I would have consistent care, but it's just not looking that way. Um, and so I feel you, and I know a lot of people are feeling that way. And I also think that offices need to adjust to this. People are talking all over about how like everyone is quitting their job. And it's because workplaces are not recognizing that the way that they were conducting business is frankly ableist. It is ableist, it is exclusionary to people with disabilities, with mental health issues. It isn't healthy for uh, people who don't even deal with those things. I think, you know, HR has a major reckoning and they need to figure out how to make things more balanced for employees. Um, I hope to see that happen. I genuinely do. Uh, I'm glad that you're in a place where your finances and your home are are, um, are safe. And I sending you good vibes for your job search. Eric, thank you so much. You like it. I really like it. I really like it. I also really like these glasses. I feel like they're a little bit more glary than the other ones, but um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself. Can I say that? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Lily, for being the literal best. And Julia, I love you so freaking much. I love you so freaking much. Um, I think followers can talk now. So you have to be a follower to chat. You don't need to be a sub. Um, and that, that sounds good. We'll stay like that for a little bit. Um, thank you very much, Lily. I love you so much. And Julia, both of you. Just absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to go ahead and put in the chat something that you're grateful for in this moment, um, I'll read some of them out. But if you don't um, want to write it in the chat, that's really fine. You could just say it to yourself. But do, do take a moment um, to, to find something that you're grateful for. Um, right now I'm grateful my self-isolation from coming into contact with someone last weekend is ending early. Melissa, I must have missed that in the Discord.
Discord. Um, Hadu and Star, welcome on in. Thank you for these follows. Um, those of you who are just tuning in, we don't usually do followers only mode here. Um, we just had like a weird, I don't know, troll raid of some kind. Um, so we're just doing that for safety. Um, so we'll take that off in a little bit. So trust me, I'm one of those people who likes to lurk in a stream and chat a little bit before I decide to follow. Um, so if that's you, please don't feel any pressure to follow. Um, it'll, it'll go off in a little bit. Um, but uh, Melissa, I didn't know that happened to you and I'm so sorry and that's so scary, but I'm so glad that you were uh, that your test came back negative. I'm so, so happy about that. I'm so, so happy about that. Um, oh, Jen, thank you so much. That's so, so sweet. That's so, so sweet. I deserve to feel myself. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying. It's hard. It's a daily battle for me to love myself, if we're being honest. Um, but I'm, I feel good today. I feel good today. I also feel like I, like, I did my hair well. I don't know. I have very flat hair. And so getting it to have any kind of volume is not easy for me. But I I I got this like brush hair dryer. It's like a hair dryer, but it's a brush. And all I have to do is like go like this without and the problem with me with blow drying my hair was always that I didn't like physically didn't know how to hold the hair dryer and the brush at the same time. So this is like a brush that just blow dries my hair and it it really works. <laughs> it really works. I interrupt this mindful moment with a non-sponsored commercial for this weird hair dryer thing that I have. <laughs> I'm grateful that I was able to quit my job earlier than I initially thought. Oh my gosh, you're going back to school full time. Tiny, I don't think I knew that or I forgot. What are you going back to school for? That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Um, my previous roommate's company recognizes this and told all their employees that everyone is now work from home forever. See, a lot of companies are doing that, actually. And I think it's a really wise choice um, because it saves them money and it brings more balance to people's lives. My industry, which is higher education, is so traditional that this is just not a thing. And they were like, their response was like, oh, well, we'll, we'll go to work three times a week instead of five. And I'm just like, okay, but I still need to commute four hours. And I still like, am trying to take care of my family here. And I just, you know, I just wish higher ed was less traditional. I don't know. Uh, you would think that higher ed would be like at the forefront of inclusivity and um, just like a great place to work, but it's really not. Doom, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Hi, Nia. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I'm grateful for the wonderful friends who I've met through Twitch. Me too, Blissful Melissa. Me too. Um, 100%. Yes, thanks for all the cookies for the mods. Um, they deserve it so freaking much. I appreciate them. I'm grateful I'm surrounded by positive people and that I can enjoy this lazy Sunday. Oh, I feel same. I feel the same. I haven't even worked this week and I still feel like Sunday is the best day just for chilling and relaxing. Um, I like even as I, I told you all there like could be some changes happening to my schedule at some point. Not anytime really, really soon, but eventually. Um, and I'll tell you more about that as things go. Um, and I, I think, you know, part of what that will mean is like, maybe some more streams during the week and maybe one fewer stream on like during the weekend so that I have a weekend day off. Um, and like, I've been thinking about like, if I did that, like which day would I take off? And like, I have to stream on Sunday. Like, I just feel like Sunday is our day. Sunday has always been such an important part of our stream. Like, am I alone in feeling that? I don't know. I just feel like Sunday is like our day. Uh, I'm grateful for a weekend home. I've been traveling, oh my gosh, to help her with her baby. Katie, that's so cool. I love that. Um, congratulations on your new nibbling. N your, your new nibbling, which is my favorite freaking word. Thank you to whoever to taught me that word. Was it Selkie? I don't know. Um, also, those of you who don't know, um, Selkie had their baby. Um, so... Um, the incredible selkie crossing who's usually in the chat um had had their baby and shared um little freya in the discord um 
and also on their Twitter if you follow them over there. Um, and I just, uh, I'm so freaking happy for them. And I just, I think Freya is literally the cutest, um, internet nibbling I've ever had. Um, and I can't wait, um, I can't wait to see Selkie back. I miss them. I miss them. <laughs> I'm grateful to be alive and to exist. I feel a lot of pressure sometimes to figure everything out. Oh my gosh, Eric, listen. I am in that exact mode where every day I wake up in like, a panic because I've got nothing figured out. Um, so if you ever want to talk about that, just give me a call. <laughs> just, we can talk about it while we while we survive in in Dead by Daylight. How's that? You wanna you wanna just talk about the fact that neither of us have anything figured out? We can do that. Yay, Nicole! There's nothing better than a, a Sunday shower. Um, I like to do like a face mask and like a hair mask and just like all of this like pampering on a Sunday um, in the shower. It's just so nice. You remember the nibbling combo, right? I It's literally the best word. It's the best word. Because um, I've always felt like, you know, with having just the word niece and nephew, it's sort of like you're just like gendering that child from the beginning. And it's like, why? When you can just say nibbling and it's even cuter. It's literally cuter. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm grateful for a clear mind. Oh, Jen, I'm so glad that you're feeling well. I'm so glad that you're feeling well. You're playing some Breath of the Wild. Um, we're gonna be playing Breath of the Wild soon. How is it? Or how have we already been alive for an hour and eleven minutes? Like how? What? What have we done? We haven't done anything. <laughs> We've just been sitting here. I, my God, the time goes fast when I'm with you all. It really does. Um. Are you liking this playlist, by the way? I'm I'm trying out um, this pretzel rocks thing um, to like. A lot of you are always like, "What is this song?" So I thought that pretzel rocks might be might be an interesting way to like show you what's playing. Um, it pops up in the chat like that. Is it annoying? You like it? Is the song good? I actually don't have my headphones on right now. <laughs> Um, you saw your nibblings last weekend for the first time in two years. Mine are actually visiting at the end of July. So the last um, the last week of July into August is when they're coming back. Um, and I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. Yeah, we're having a meaningful time. Um, it's literally, the playlist is called Cozy Times, I think. Oh no, it's called Chill. Relax, Unwind, and Chill. That's what this playlist is. Um, it had all of this, a lot of the songs that I usually play on here. So I was like, oh, we'll try it. We'll try it. Um, <clears throat> oh, I love that tiny. That's so cute. That's so cute. Um, it is really one of my favorite things about streaming is having the ability to like, create a space from the ground up that just reflects you and your values and um your vibes even um and i love just like tweaking it from time to time like i love i loved making all of the alerts um i love adding new alerts it just brings me a lot of happiness um and i i just want people to feel like I definitely want people to feel safe and welcome when they enter the space um but i also want the space to like reflect me, you know? Um, it's really fun. Um, yeah, Tiny, I love that. I love that. Oh, you're talking about my physical background. That's so funny. I thought you were talking about like, um, like creating a stream space. <laughs> I'm over here talking about alerts and branding. Um, yes, I, I love interior decorating. Loki and I live for it. Live for it. Um, it's, it's something that brings me a lot of happiness. Yeah, well, when in grad school, you, you're definitely gonna be living on a budget, but most of the place, like most of the spaces that I've built are have been on a budget. I've never made a lot of money. So <laughs> that's another problem with higher education. It really doesn't pay. It just does not pay. Um, so I am always doing it on a budget. Most of my stuff is from like HomeSense. I freaking love HomeSense. Do you all have that by you? Is HomeSense, is that, is HomeSense, TJ Maxx, is that like a specifically United States thing? Or is it elsewhere? Hi, Stardust, welcome on in. Oh, welcome on in. Oh my 
my gosh, Nicole, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, I honestly, I have not lived in the same vicinity as my brother in like 10 years, 10 years. Um, he has always like, and I don't blame him. Like you all know, like my childhood was not fantastic. Um, so I don't blame him for like leaving and never coming back. But uh, now that he has kids, I'm like, oh, I kind of miss. I'm going to turn down the lighting a little bit. Because I feel like the sun is shining on me a bit too heavily. And I look like a ghost. Here we go. I look like a, if it goes out and it gets too dark, let me know. <laughs> um, you do have a TJ Maxx. Oh, do you like it? Do you like TJ Maxx? You have, you have HomeSense in Canada. So TJ Maxx owns HomeSense. And there's another one. Um, Home Goods. Home Goods, Home Sense, Home Goods. I freaking love all those stores. I love them. I can do some serious damage in those stores. Um, excited to have a relationship outside of our whole family dynamic. Um, Nicole, I love that so much. I've never, I've really never had it because most of the time, when I'm when my brother is visiting, all the family piles in to see him. Um, so there's been a few times where I've gone to visit my brother separately and I've really enjoyed those times um, because honestly when the family is all together like I'm under stress, he's under stress, neither of us are at our best um, and I just think it's like it's so much nicer to be just the two of us or just us with our partners um, and the kids. Um, so I, I, I've told you all like I've would like to move to Denver. Uh, and a big reason of that for that is to be close to my brother and my niece and nephew. Um, so it's like the mountains and then my niece and nephew and brother and sister-in-law. Um, and just like see if like, you know, we have like a very, um, we have a good relationship. It's just not a close one. Um, and I'd love to see if that would change if we were in like close proximity, I don't know. Um, hi, BizPad. Good to see you. Marshalls, I think that they're all, they're all owned, right? By like TJX Corporation or something. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't pretend to know these things, but yes, I love all those places. Um, BizPad, you must love all the, I mean, or, or you must go to those places. It's a very, I feel like it's a very like regional thing to like go to all those places. You don't have a home sense. Home sense is new. So maybe you will get one. Home Sense is like a, I don't know, like a even better version of Home Goods. It's like a Sunday, like where where me and BizPad live. <laughs> it's like a Sunday activity it, to go to all those stores, you know? <laughs> it's like I'll go to like Home Depot, Lowe's, Home Sense, Home Goods. Like forget the mall, forget clothes shopping. Like, I just want to go to Lowe's. Like, bring me to the garden center. I'm happy. <laughs> I love it. Marshalls and TJ Maxx are, uh, I've never heard of HomeSense. HomeSense is kind of new. It's definitely kind of new. Um, the other one that I like, oh, what am I blanking on right now? Oh, it's Target. Duh. Um, I love going to Target. And I feel like Target is also like a, a thing near me. Like a, it's like an adventure. Uh, oh, Ikea. So Ikea is kind of far from me. It's, it's really not that bad, I guess. Um, I'm just so I've lived in Manhattan so long that I'm like used to everything being just there. Um, so now that things are more spread out, it just feels like things are really far away. Um, so the closest Ikea to me is kind of far away. So I haven't gone because I'm lazy and I like to stay within like five miles of my location. <laughs> right? It might as well be in Sweden. It's far. It's far. I don't know. But I love Ikea. Uh, patio furniture is so wildly expensive. Um, I'm very lucky that, like, my grandmother already had it. Um, and, like, it's not even that old or anything. Um, but she really likes, like, liked to entertain and stuff. Um, so there's like 
nice furniture in the backyard and on the front porch um, because it's that is really expensive. I feel like it's like three times the amount that it should be. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tiny, you lived in Sweden. If I could live, so if I was going to move somewhere that wasn't the United States, probably it would be like realistically, I would go to Canada. <laughs> Just like realistically because it's like still close to my family um but if i could move anywhere and it would be easy i think i would move to sweden there's just something about there's something about the energy in sweden that i really like either that or like the netherlands one of those uh lovely welcome on in good to see you happy sunday happy sunday thank you for the follow uh, I did my master's degree in Sweden, so I lived there between 2018 and 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Um, wait, you live in the nether- look, Tiny, you literally lived in my two favorite places. <laughs> Listen, I could- I could live so happily in the Netherlands. Like, they're just like- they seem like my people. They love bike riding and nature and farmers markets and sustainability and I don't know I just feel like I could really vibe there I could really vibe in the Netherlands um same thing with Sweden Canada would love to have you well listen like I'd I'd happily move to Canada I just don't really know how to do that <laughs> like I just don't know how to like how do you move country like those of you who have moved countries like I don't know how to do that like a gen like I don't know like I have a passport but that's it like how do I how do I actually do that and not get kicked out I don't know I guess I would need to get a job <laughs> Sophie actually just applied for a job in Canada so maybe if she gets it we'll we'll move there who knows <laughs> who knows maybe I will be moving to Canada I think the job was in Montreal is Montreal near any of you would would I like Montreal I know Montreal is on the east side Technically, I think if I was gonna move to Canada, I would want to be on the west side because I want to live near Banff. Like, I've always wanted to go to Banff and just, like, vibe in Banff. I don't know why. I've never even been there, but I just feel like I'll, like, randomly Google Banff and just, like, enjoy pretending that I'm there. A work visa? I had no advice that's not getting married or going to school. See, I'm done with school. I'm so done with school. Um, I've thought about like, you know, it entered my mind, like going back to school, um, but I'm so done. I'm so done. Like, I'm just like, I'm higher education in general has me like, um, so I'm done with school. So that's not on the table, but maybe a work visa. Get getting married to a local is off the table because kind of love sulky. And she's not Canadian, so I feel like that's not a pro that's not a thing. Um, there's a work visa program for the Schengen 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 area. Oh, is that in the Netherlands? Um, yeah, everyone I know that lives in the Netherlands is there because they they fell in love with somebody from the Netherlands, and it's like okay, but but what happens if your person? grew up where you grew up then how do you move then how do you move <laughs> but listen i would love i would love to leave the united states i really would i'm not at all attached i'm not at all attached um but i do think realistically if i was gonna leave it would probably be to go to canada um a biased canadian i can firmly say that can canada is i almost said canada canada <laughs> Should I move to good old Canada? That's so funny. Um, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, have you ever seen where? Where is? Hang on. Banff National Park is Canada's oldest national park, and it's in the Rocky Mountains. Look at this. I just. I just want to live here. This is my life. This is where I'd like to live, okay? Right with this moose. 
and this bear. Stop. I would totally get married here. This is where this is gonna be my wedding photo. Can I get married in Banff? Would you all come to my wedding? Would you would you hike up a mountain to watch me say I do? Would you do that? <laughs> can I can I get you all to come to Banff and 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 watch me get married there? It's just so pretty. I just like, I could literally spend hours just googling Banff and pretending that I'm there. So if I was going to move to Canada, and I could go anywhere, it would probably be in the vicinity of Banff. Because I just want to be there. <laughs> I just want to be there. So, how, how many of you that are Canadian, have you been to Banff? Is it as, it is, is it as nice as it seems? Uh, I lived near the Canadian border and miss Vancouver. See, Vancouver's over there. I would move, I would move to Vancouver. I wonder how much the permit is to get married there. Oh my gosh, it's probably a lot. It's probably a lot. The Canadian prairies. Um, I don't even know where that is. Canadian prairies. I mean, where I live is not is not gay friendly. Where I live is not anyone friendly. It's literally the worst. There's pockets of of nice people here, but there's not a lot of them. Oh, the Canadian prairies look an awful lot like the United States prairies. <laughs> Um, see, here's what appeals to me about, like, prairie living, is I just feel like a lot of people don't live there, and so me as an anxious person who is also relatively not super social, um, I like the idea of being able to, like, walk around, drive around, and not encounter a whole lot of people. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, where you live is not very friendly either? Tiny, really? I just assumed that the Netherlands was, like, very progressive. Um, hi, Cephelia! You are from the Netherlands. Um, everything is very flat, and I needed some hill- Oh, Scotland is also pretty. I would live in Scotland. I would move to Ireland. Um, which, although, I feel like I've been told that there are places in Ireland that are also very- not progressive. I don't know if that's true, though. Um, Green Bean. I live in the United States. I live in New York. So, on the eastern side of the U.S. Um, Calgary. Where's Calgary? Odd. I don't know things. This is why I don't play GeoGuessr, because what I don't know about the world is truly embarrassing. My education failed me. Calgary is in Canada. Who knew? Looks like a nice city. I'm kind of done with cities, though. Living in Manhattan for years, I just feel like I've done the city thing, and I now want my personal space. Um, I want, I want a larger amount of like home space than I had in the in in Manhattan, and I also want not like. want to not have to like bump into people when I leave my house. Um anti welcome on in. I don't know what your username means. It makes me a little makes me a little bit sus. I don't know what that means. I hope it's I hope it's friendly. It, if you're if you're friendly, welcome on in. <laughs> if you're not friendly, this is not the place for you. Um, I think because there's a common misconception that the Netherlands is, like, defined by its tolerance, which is greatly overstated. Our commercial center, called the Randstad, is relatively progressive, but there's a ton of country left that's very racist. See, I feel like that's kind of how it is, too. Like, you get these, like, pockets of progressive, and then there's always, like, very not progressive all around it. Um, at least that's kind of how it is in the U.S. Like, Manhattan is exceptionally progressive and, like, does very well with, like, inclusivity and it's very diverse. Um, all around it in New York is literally the opposite. Like, where you have people who are actively hateful, actively trying to make this country 
a more closed minded place. Um, like, I'm sorry, I, I drive around and all I see are Trump flags. Literally, still, like, it's freaking July and all I see are Trump flags, giant ones. And then, like, they also put them on their cars. And then there's Blue Lives Matter flags, which I'm just like, I can't with them. Um, so yeah, it's not a great, it's not a very great place. I mean, coming from where I came from, which was very different than here, it's like, it's a little hard to, it's hard to come to terms with the fact that like these people I'm interacting with at the grocery store or at Target, a lot of them are very hateful. And it's, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. Toronto Pride is a blast. Um, I love that. I've heard that actually. Um, I've heard that Toronto Pride is a really good time. Um, I'm obsessed with Tegan and Sarah. Um, like freaking love Tegan and Sarah and they're always at Toronto Pride. I've always wanted to meet them there. Um, although I met Tegan. Yeah, you know, we have a little bit of a love story, so. <laughs> Don't tell Sulky. Don't tell Sulky. Uh, Calgary is nice, but oil and gas centric. Oh yeah. I mean, what isn't really? Um, they're obsessed with the man. I know Basil. They really are. Um, it's a lot of ignorance. I also like, I've, I've started seeing more and more people wearing NRA shirts and I'm like, you're, you live in New York. Like we have very strict gun laws. Like what, who are you? Like, I don't understand. Like I just, what, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I sometimes walk around in this in this town and don't recognize it from when I was younger. And I don't know if it's just that like I am more aware now than I was, or if oh my gosh, all these follows. Fossil and Ollie Cat, welcome on in. Um, I don't know if I'm just more aware now than I was when I was younger, or if it has actually gotten worse. I'm not sure. I feel like it's probably a mixture of the two. Um, the flags. Yeah, I can't with the flags. I can't with the flags. Every time I see it, it makes me livid. Um, it makes me livid. It's, I'm at, I'm at the point where I'm about to like, um, put a bunch of stuff on my car. <laughs> like in response, like wait, like have like a Black Lives Matter sticker and stuff. Um, I wonder how that would have worked. I wonder if that would, I wonder if I would get like my car ruined from that. I love your glasses. Thank you so much. Lovely. I appreciate you. Um, that's exactly the vibe that I wanted for us today. I mean, I kind of want this vibe all the time, but especially today, I wanted us to just feel like we were out to coffee together, catching up. Um, so I'm really glad that you're enjoying it. I'm really, really glad. Tiny, enjoy your time in with your journal in the yard. Um, if we see you back Great. If not, um, enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Um, you've gone to four Tegan and Sarah concerts. I feel like I've gone to about the same. Um, every single one was lovely. Um, and the the lesbians at Tegan and Sarah concerts are so thirsty. It's, <laughs> I've never felt more attractive than at a Tegan and Sarah concert. Like, I just feel like the moment I walk in there, it's like a whole bunch of people want to sleep with me. And I'm just like, oh, OK, I must be kind of cute. <laughs> it's a real confidence booster. I want to steal all the flags and burn them. Same lovely. I literally it's it makes me livid. It's just. I just don't understand why people need to go out of their way to be so hateful. It's just and, you know, they're not. They're not concerned about actual cop lives. Like they're concerned with making people feel unwelcome in this city. And I just think that that's bullshit. I just think that it's bullshit. Um, like I would love for this city that I'm living in to be more diverse. And I've, you know, I've lived in Manhattan. I see how cities thrive from actual diversity and inclusivity. And I just would love for that, that, for that I would love that for this city where I grew up. And instead, they're becoming more and more close-minded and afraid of difference. And it's going to ruin them. It's going to ruin them. And it's sad. But karma's a bitch. 
Um, I will not stay here like forever because I can't. It's beautiful. I love the hiking, um, but I have no trust. I, you know, every time I go out, um, I'm, I'm, there's a level of fear in me. Like even when I got my hair cut, I, I, you know, and this is not me at all. Like I'm very, you know, I'm so gay and all I do is talk about it. But at, like when I was getting my hair cut, I referred to Sulky as like my partner. Um, I was afraid to say girlfriend. Like, I just like, I don't know. Like, I don't trust you. Like, show me that I can trust you. <laughs> show me that I can trust you with who I am before I will do it. Um, and that's how I feel here. Like, I don't feel very much like I can connect with with a lot of the people around here. I mean, of course, there are people I know. Most of the people that I know that are cool here are people who work at the university that's nearby. Um, and of course, like, you know, you get these pockets of people that are more progressive around universities and stuff. And that's great, but that's not sustainable. Like, we need it more widespread, please. Um, yeah, well, and also lovely, like a lot of that is like respectability politics, like this idea that like, you know, there's this idea that like you can only create change by connecting with people and um, forgiving them and things. And there's a there's truth to that. Like I've talked to I've talked to you about how like as a white woman, like I feel like it's my place to educate other white people and to do that emotional labor and to like take that on. Um, and sometimes the way to doing that is taking a deep breath and not being angry and like approaching it as ignorance um but not that's not always possible and i just don't think that that's the only way to create change um i've had people like i've had people be upset with things that i've said on stream and feel like i should say things in a way that is more respectable or in a way that is more uh less emotional less angry um and you know my answer to that is always like you know you don't always you don't always get to tell people who have been hurt um, or marginalized, like how to police their tone like that. Like you just, you gotta kind of take it as it is. Like, you know, emotion comes with pain and pain comes from sustained oppression. And that's just kind of how it is sometimes. Um, so yeah, it's not always easy. It's not always easy to take that kind of road where you're like, I love, you know, like, like the Steven Universe road where it's like everyone is good deep down if you can just reach it. Like, that's not always the case. <laughs> it's, just, it's not always the case. Um, I wish that it were. I wish that it were, but it's not. Um, and I've definitely seen that. Like, there's plenty of people in my life who are not worth trying to reach. Like my horribly racist and homophobic uncle, for example. Um, I'm not trying to educate him. I'm just closing him out of my life and hoping he does not do a lot of damage. <laughs> because I can't, you know, I don't have that. <laughs> you needed to hear that all oh, so brokenly. Um, I'm not sure what what was what it was that resonated with you, but I'm glad something did. Um I've you know, I've struggled with it because it, it's you know, I've had people who I really like appreciated in this space um like stop watching me because of things that i've said um and like it's hard it's hard but at the end of the day what i lean on are my values and what i want for this community and what i want for this community is you know we can have serious conversations and we can hold each other's pain even if it's hard for us to see you know um and that's you know long term what i want for us so you know, if people can't handle some of the things that I say, like, it's, it sucks, but it's like, you know, okay, you know, you, you move on, you move on. Um, it's, yeah, lovely. I mean, I've cut, like, I've cut my uncle out of my life, um, ages ago because he's abusive. So, um, there's no, there's no reason to try, um, to connect with somebody like that, so... Uh, Eloise, it's so good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, and yes, lovely. I absolutely love Steven Universe. Um, it's not a perfect show by any means, but I think it just did an incredible job 
um, and it was in it was so great for queer representation in children's media, um, and I think that it's really acted as like a stepping stone for for more inclusivity in children's cartoons. Um, and there's a lot of beauty in that show, um, and I also just like freaking love Rebecca Sugar, like. I don't know. There's something about Rebecca Sugar that I'm that just gets me. Like listening to her play like the ukulele and sing, like I'm just like, oh, I love you. I just love you. Marry me. <laughs> Cater Todd, did I say hi to you? I don't know. In my mind I said hi to you, but I'm not sure if I actually did. Um, so lots of love, Cater Todd. How are you? How are you? I've seen you I saw that you've been sewing or knitting on your stream. Can we get a shout out for Cater Todd, by the way? Um, I saw that you've been you've been knitting. I haven't been able to make it. I've been off Twitch my whole week off. Um, I haven't gone to a single stream. <laughs> um, I really haven't. I don't think I've gone to anyone's. Uh, MD, welcome on in. Good to see you. Thank you for the follow. Um, I got to this point where I just needed some time off the internet. Um, and so I did. And now I'm feeling much better. Much better. Uh, you're still looking for a way to watch Steven Universe? I'm not even kidding. I'm about to stream it in the Discord for you. We've got anime nights. I'm like, do we need to have a Steven Universe night? <laughs> like, I just feel like you need to see it, Julia. I feel like you need to see it. Uh, that helped you with your own sexuality. I love that, lovely. Um, there's nothing like representation. So no, broken, you found it. Wait, I need to hear it. I really wanted to hear this alert, so we Lilas boot. <laughs> so Broganly, that's your alert. That's your alert. So I so Broganly loves to do 222 bits, which first of all, thank you. That's so generous and I love you. Um and I was like, oh, we should make like an alert for that so that it's like a so something like meaningful happens. Um and I asked them what they would want it to be, and they said the fairy fountain from Breath of the Wild. So I picked it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Oh, good. Um, no, lovely. Listen, I'm so, so vocal about the fact that, like, finding your sexuality um, or your gender or any part of your identity is something that there's no time limit on. It's not like this idea that you need to figure out who you are before your 20s, before your 30s, before whatever age um, is honestly bullshit. Like, it's just not... It's just not a thing. Like, it really isn't. Like, I didn't come out and find myself until um, my 20s. And I know that's earlier than some of you and later than some of you. Um, Sophie, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Um, it was a really hard and weird journey for me. Um, and I, you know, what I've learned from that is that I never want to stop myself from reflecting on who I am, thinking about who I am, finding different parts of myself, finding community through different parts of myself. Um, and that's, you know, it's an ongoing journey for me. And I just don't think that like you ever need um, to put a timeline on that. Nicole, oh my gosh, please. Yes, I, so here's the thing. No, it's so broken that you're my favorite. No, you. Um, I have actually um, some emotes in the works um, for us. Um, and I actually am working with the artist that uh, sul the Sulky's emotes. Um, you all know I freaking love Kelly and I love Kelly's emotes. Um, but <laughs> when Kelly agreed to do my emotes, um, we, I was like a baby streamer and like I I hit partner so fast and we unlocked um, you know we got to like 400 subs and we unlocked just so many emote slots and now there's animations um, and I wanted to make sure that you all were getting what you've unlocked um, without stressing out my dear dear friend Kelly um, so I am also working with this other artist um, who does Sulky's emotes um, who is working on um, a whole bunch of exciting stuff for us, including animating some of the incredible emotes that Kelly's made for us. Um, and they will be working on that towards the end of this month. Um, so very, very soon, we're going to have like a whole bunch of new cute stuff, including a no you emote. 
Um, Carrie, thank you for the follow. Sophie, I don't know if I walkered, well, walkered you in, welcomed you in, but welcome on in. Uh, you beat Ganon last night? Lovely, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, we're going to be working on Breath of the Wild soon, actually. We're going to switch to that e eventually. <laughs> we should probably do that soon. We've just been chatting forever. Um, and my plan for this Breath of the Wild playthrough is to, like, try to finish as much as we possibly can before the second one comes out. Like, some kind of, like, completionist playthrough. I don't know if we'll actually find all the Koroks. Uh, I'm still thinking about whether or not we want to actually look for all 900 of those. Uh, but everything else I want to I want to complete with you all on stream. Um, you clicked on a queer stream and the first thing you hear is Tegan and Sarah Ollie. First of all, welcome on in. Thank you for, for checking us out. It's good to have you here. Um, and Tegan and Sarah are amazing. I freaking love them. So those of you who know Tegan and Sarah, I wish I could play the music for you without getting like a DMCA thing. But if you know Tegan and Sarah, it's very important to me that I know from you you like Tegan or Sarah more? <laughs> Summer! Oh my god, I need to hear this one too. Let's just keep these on. I I'll never shorten that alert. To go to I know some of you think my it's creepy. Sister, but I wanted to send some cheer your way before I leave and send some positive vibes to you and the community Lila's hype. Summer, first of all, you send positive vibes here just by saying hello. I I love you and I love your presence in this community and um, all of the kindness that you bring to this space. Um, but thank you so freaking much for the 500 bits. They go a long way and I love you for that. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I wonder why the Lilith's hype emote didn't work. That's odd. That's odd. <laughs> um, you got to the center of the lost woods. Ooh, we won't do any spoilers. <gasps> Dana, 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 wait, wait, you saw a concert with Paramore and Tegan and Sarah. Do you realize that my gay heart cannot take those two people, those three people in the same room? Like, I found my sexuality through Haley Williams and Tegan and Sarah. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I... I'm not sure I would be the lesbian standing in front of you without Haley Williams. <laughs> oh God. I freaking love Haley Williams. I mean, that sounds like a perfect blend, honestly. I just, I hope, oh, I was about to say something really weird. I just, I sometimes forget that Tegan and Sarah are sisters. So I almost said like, I hope they had like a threesome after the show. I hope that, I hope that either Tegan or Sarah got with Haley. <laughs> I just, I feel like my, I feel like that needs to happen on planet Earth. I feel like it needs to. Um, you would explore into confetti. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I know, please. I don't, I didn't mean it. I didn't, I didn't mean it. I know they're sisters. I forgot. Okay. I just forgot. I know that, I know that that was a lot. <laughs> don't leave. Stay. Um, explode into confetti. Is that a bland? Is that a ban? Oh, I would explode into confetti. I see what you're saying. The capitalization made me think it was a band. Um, the band that I've been, you know, really liking that's super gay. Um, I've talked about this a little bit is I randomly stumbled on girl in red. Um, and I really like that. I really like girl in red. Um, the music is, is fantastic and super gay, super gay. It gives me very, like a lot of, um, Tegan and Sarah vibes actually. See, I wish we could just listen to that music. Like how great would it be to just like chill and listen to Paramore right now? <laughs> like, oh, please. You can't just like one of them more. They're a package deal. I'm Tegan energy and my spouse is Sarah energy. Same. Ali, honestly, same. Um, Sulky, definitely. If you all are new here, you don't know Sulky. Can we get the Sulky command? Um, Sulky's my partner who is definitely still sleeping. Um, and she's like definitely more of a Sarah, I think. And I'm more of a Tegan. Um, I, I've always been very attracted to Tegan's level of androgyny. 
Um, it, it's one of those things where like, do I want to be you or do I want to romance you? <laughs> Probably both. I was visiting a friend and we were just talking about Haley Williams as one of the main women that made us realize we were attracted to other women. Like seriously, seriously. Um, Haley Williams is literal perfection literal perfection stop newfound glory oh my god stop i love that um here's the thing yesterday when we had no power sulky and i went on a drive um and we like pulled out this like emo playlist and we were listening to like taking back sunday and i don't even freaking know just like all of these old bands that we used to listen to it was so fun i had such a blast just like vibing to the emo playlist in the car it was so good it was so good it made me forget about the drama of the power Yes, I was such a warp tour person. I freaking I miss warp tour. If I I would love to go back. I would love to go back. Uh, I am the gay that I am today because of warp tour too. Hi, child of ruin. It's good to see you. Girl in red is so freaking good. So freaking good. Um, if you if any of you know any other bands like Girl in Red um, that have that kind of gay energy, please let me know because there's there's never enough there's never it's never enough i will i will listen to them king princess i don't know them let me look, look it up i can't play it unfortunately oh my goodness oh my she cute she cute um i don't know her but i like what i see <laughs> I like what I see. I will listen. I will listen to this after stream for sure. After stream for sure. <laughs> oh God. I'm still laughing lovely that I thought that you were giving me a band recommendation. I was like, explore into confetti. <laughs> oh God. That's so funny. Um, I'm taking notes. Oh, Eloise. Yes, please. Eloise, do you know Tegan and Sarah? Hang on. I feel like it's important that I pull up this. On the off chance that any of you don't know Tegan and Sarah, like this is this photo. I remember wanting this hair. I wanted this hair so bad. I never got it. I wonder if I could, could I pull off that hair? <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> Say yes, okay? But like, Oh my God. Look how cute they are. Look at this. I just, they are just perfection. Just like absolute perfection. Like the level of gay and the level of cool, even like I remember, oh gosh, the like mullet look, okay, stop. Like I just, I just love them. I just love them. Like this has become, this is definitely the gayest stream we've ever had. <laughs> but like, stop. Like they're, and then the music itself. I know, and they're amazing people. They're amazing people and they're so funny. Um, Julia, that's so funny because you all like, that's so interesting to me that all of you only know me with this hair. You only know me with long hair, but I've only had long hair for like a year. I started growing out my hair at the start of the pandemic. But before that, I always had like a pixie cut or a shaved head. I've had lots of like my my hair has been shaved lots of times, um, but I never had like this kind of hair before. It's new to me. That's why I don't know how to style it. <laughs> So I don't know how to style it. It would make an awesome band name, lovely. I agree. Um, I loved the hair in the so Je so jealous. I think is my favorite album. Um, if I had to pick one, I think so jealous is my favorite. Lilith hugs Tegan and Sarah. I just think they're neat. Oh my god, stop! I love it. Uh, they are Canadian. See, it's another reason I want to move to Canada. I feel like a lot of cool people are from Canada. I'm exposing the mod discord. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> Everybody.
everybody getting a little peep into the mod discord. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. That's so funny. I am cracking up at you all talking about banning pretzel rocks. We have this new bot because of, of this new playlist. It like plays, it tells you what's playing. Um, and Julia banned it before thinking it was like a troll. I can't. Julia, I'll never get over it. I'll never get over it. Sam, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm, I'll never get over it. Is it annoying, the bot? I like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> Eloise, stop. That's so funny. I love you all. You, My mods are the best mods. I hope you all know. Sulky's, are, Sulky's mods are too. But I always think of them as a package deal. Um, They really are the best. <laughs> You all do have such a good group chat. I was trying to catch up after being so MIA this week and I like couldn't. You all talk so much. You're such cuties. You have the funniest, you all were like talking about Britney Spears. <laughs> I, I'm like exposing you all right now. I was like, oh, look at them. Just like chilling, talking about Britney Spears. <laughs> I feel like I missed all the good convos this week. Oh, well, we'll have to have them again. Um, all right, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. And should we switch to a game? <laughs> I feel like we should probably play a game, right? Isn't that what streamers do? I think the streamers play games, right? I think we do. <laughs> Beer man, welcome on in. Lovely, it's so good to have you. Enjoy um, your work presentation. Good luck. Um, and we'd love to have you back. It's so good to see you. Um, we probably should, right? Actually, I'm actually really looking forward to playing Breath of the Wild. Um, if you've been here for just chatting, first of all, lovely to have you here. Um, we do just chatting at the start of every single stream. So, and honestly, it's my favorite part. So, you know, we do it a lot. So if you haven't already followed, give us a follow. Give us a little, give us a little follow over here. Um, right now I'm live on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. This is a bit of a transitional schedule. Um, Soon-ish, we'll be changing that, um, but it'll be a change in your favor, <laughs> meaning I think it's in your favor. More of me is in your favor, maybe, I think. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, if you'd like to stay for the gameplay, it honestly doesn't change the vibes all that much because we still chat a whole lot while we play. Um, and we are doing a Breath of the Wild playthrough. It's not a new playthrough. I have played the game before, but we've never played it on stream. And we're trying to complete everything before the sequel comes out. Um, and we're really just getting started. Um, we've only had like two streams of it. So um, you haven't missed much. <laughs> you haven't missed much. Um, so what I'm going to do is a, is a little pee break. And then when we get back, we're going to play Breath of the Wild. Um, mods, if you wouldn't mind changing the game for me while I'm gone. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do green screen today. I don't think I'm feeling it. I think we'll just, like, we'll do regular, um, no green screen today. I don't feel like scaring Moon. He doesn't like the, the green screen very much. Um, so we'll just, like, we'll chill with the regular, um, little game screen on. Enjoy the music while you hang out, but... If you haven't already taken your meds, taken your vitamins, stretched your legs, gotten some water, get some more coffee, whatever you gotta do, take this as an opportunity to do a little bit of self-care. And when we get back, we're going into high roll, Going into high roll. <laughs> All right, be right back, my cuties. I love ya. I love ya.
I'm going on an adventure. Rowdy. I'm muted. <laughs> what is happening? Are we being rowdy? Dom, thank you for the 100 bits and the rowdiness. Um, I said behave. Silver Station, thank you for the follow. Um, beer, you hit follow to say great recommendation. You like it? Oh my god, yes. Um, Spotify actually is who recommended that to me. And I was like, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, King, who are we banning? Also, hello. <laughs> um, also, King, I finally sent your letter your way. I'm sorry for the delay. I wanted to get all the I wanted to get all the stationery right. Um, so you should be getting that soon. You should be getting that real soon. Um, I dropped it into the little thingamajig yesterday. <laughs> Ophelia, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. So I, on my little break here, I got some more um, iced coffee. And then I got these, I got these bars. You see them? It, it's a superfood chaga. What is chaga? I've never in my life. And super greens vegan bar. I thought that like eating a like a power bar might be a good thing to eat on stream since I've not been super excellent about remembering to eat on stream days. Um, so I don't know. I thought this maybe would be good. So, uh, Sarah, 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 I got it eventually. 
That's Merlin, and he's wearing a pride bandana for any of you. Eloise, you didn't see it because you weren't here in the beginning, but Moon is wearing a pride bandana, and he's super cute. Oh, he's showing off. Look at him. He says, who, me? Who, me? Let's see. Let's take a bite of this. Hmm. It's actually really good. <laughs> Tastes like dessert. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. Is it crinkly? Oh, I'm sorry. I gave you a little bit of a an unplanned ASMR stream. <laughs> Turn around so they can see your pride bandana. He looks so handsome. He looks so handsome. I love him. He's the only one I can trust with the candle. That's why Moon. Uh, that's why Pickle's not in here today, because Pickle is he'll he'll do crimes with the candle. You wanted to say hi, huh? Maybe he heard the rapper. I think he says, I want whatever that is you're eating. This is my cat, everyone, and I love him. He says, oh, is it time for a cozy game sesh? Is it time for a cozy game sesh? He loves, see, normally when we play the Nintendo Switch, we play it in bed. I normally play it handheld because usually Silky's got the TV for the PlayStation or something. Um, and I lay like I lay down and he plops on my lap and that's how we play. So he's like, what is this? You're going to you're going to game without me. He is a really good cat blur. He's literally an absolute angel. Both of my cats are good. Pickle is naughty, but not like not in a bad way, like really. Like he, I could do anything to Pickle. Um, and he's so sweet to other people, but Pickle does things like get into fire and knock things over. Whereas Moon would never. He's too well behaved. <laughs> yes, Pickle does crimes. I'll, I'll let him in eventually. Maybe towards the end of stream, I'll turn the candle off and you guys, you can all see uh, Pickle. I almost called you all you guys. I did anyone else grow up saying you guys as like a gender neutral thing um, and struggle with trying to teach yourself to not say that? Because that is totally me. I've gotten much better, but it still sometimes pops out of my mouth. Like, I'll just be like, hi, guys. <laughs> um, But I've heard that that can be like... um upsetting for for some people and it's like it's a little bit hard to train i'm trying i do pretty well but sometimes it i catch myself saying it yeah that's why i've started saying y'all um y'all is definitely good because it's 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 gender neutral i try to say folks now i've i've done pretty well of switching it to folks but sometimes it still comes out That and dude. Dude is another one. I, like, I will use myself gender neutrally, but I know it can be um, dysphorics for some folks. So I've I've worked really hard to get it out of my vocabulary. But it's not easy. Like, it, it still pops out of my mouth. Hi, Petita and Tanguin. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, Y'all is better than folks. I like them both. Is folks like folks is gender neutral though? There's no like issue with folks, right? If there is, please tell me because I've worked really hard to start saying it. <laughs> if there is, please tell me. Um, Dham, thank you so much for the compliment on the room and the kitty. I actually mute. I moved the camera up a little. It's dark today. You can't see great, but normally there's some lights back there. And you can see, and I actually found a way to make it so that the camera hits me and some of the plants up there. So, pro streamer, friends is good. Um, I'm careful with friends though, a little bit sometimes in streamer verse, um, because I've become a little bit more cautious of parasocial relationships and how damaging they can be. 
Um, so even that one gives me a pause. So I don't know. I feel like I don't know what to say. I'm just like, <laughs> just say folks. <laughs> My friends and I like to joke with each other a lot and say you lot. Uh, I feel like you lot is, is very British. Is it British? Do you say you lot? You lot in Britain? Is that a thing? Maybe, maybe not. Babies, I like. Yes, I always feel silly saying it. I don't know why. Um, how's it going? It's going really well. I'm having a good day. I've got my coffee. I've got my snacks. I've got my cats. I've got Breath of the Wild in a minute. I'm having a good day. Uh, even though I don't know. Oh my God, stop. Um, I we don't. I mean, I love Iona, but we don't need to ask Iona. We have so many Brits in the chat. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, no, 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 so brokenly, no, 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 listen. Um, you all calling each other friends is great, and that's what we want. Um, some people will take me saying friends as very, very literal, and I want to be all of your friends, but there's a limit to how much I can actually be all of your friends, if that makes sense. Um, because I am one person, and I'm a person that has limited social energy, uh, you know? So, <laughs> um, I've had some problems in the past with people, um, you know, just sort of, and, and actually it's, it's tied into this whole idea of like being disturbed by things that I say. Like if, if people think that we are like genuinely close friends from only stream interactions and I say something that upsets them, then they're all the more upset by it if there's no boundary. Does that make sense? The, 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 it's the expectations, yeah. Honestly, I think our community has gotten to a point, and I'm very, very happy about that, where you all have solid understandings of boundaries. Um, and I love it, and I'm thriving in this current community. Um, in the past, I had more of an issue, especially with the children that we used to have in our communities. Um, that was like a bigger issue. Um, but yeah, and I think, you know, just a healthy understanding of like, when I say friend, unless the, unless we're actually talking every day, like via DM and like, you know, my address, like we're, you know, we're friends, but we're not like friends. Does that make, does that make sense? Like, I love you. I care about you. All of that means that all of that is true. Like I genuinely appreciate your presence and, and want the best for you and love seeing you and you make me happy but I also can't act as a, 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 a shoulder for you to cry on, a, a, an actual support to you, because I just, I just can't. Like I, I can only do that for so many people. You know, is that, does that make sense? I, it's a weird thing to talk about, I guess. Uh, my social battery max is that at forty percent. Yes, friendly versus friends. Yeah, exactly. Friends. I like that, Basil. F R E N S. We'll say that from now on. Friends. Friends, friends, friends. Green Bean, I agree. Boundaries are so important. Um, and they're hard for me. They're hard for me because actually my my default is to be everybody's shoulder to cry on, is to become genuine friends with every single one of you. And I tried that <laughs> and it didn't work because it just didn't. And so moving forward, I'm trying to be a little bit better with like, knowing about boundaries um so we're we're working on it <laughs> we're working on it <laughs> so that's why i'm sometimes careful with the word um but but other times i'll come into the discord and be like hi friends <laughs> so please you know but all of you can definitely say it because what i want for you all what i want for you all is to make genuine friendships with each other because that that i can offer right i can build a space where you can make genuine friends with people who we have all collectively cultivated into an inclusive, diverse, friendly, welcoming community committed to spreading joy online. That I can offer you. I just can't always offer you like a genuine friendship with me as a singular individual, if that makes sense. As much as I would love to. As much as I would love to, because all of you are amazing. <laughs> I know, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Um, I love Wandering Foxbot has been saying this thing about spoilers so much. I think I need to adjust some of the bots. 
times. I have it so that most of them go off every 90 minutes, but I think that because we talk so damn much, um, maybe they need to go off less frequently. See, like, I want some of them to go off often. Like, I want Black Lives Matter to go off every 30 minutes because I don't want anyone ever coming into the chat who doesn't believe that. And if they do come into the chat and they see that, I want them to go. <laughs> but, like, my social media, like, that one doesn't need to circulate quite as often. And the thing about pronouns doesn't need to come as often. And definitely the spoilers thing doesn't need to come as often. So I need to adjust that, I guess. Um, I help teens create community with one another and it's a balancing act to make them feel comfortable with me and one another But also have the boundary with me Yes, I mean so I recognized early on um, that I was uncomfortable building Even limited friendship with minors. So that's why this space is 18 plus um, and I'm careful about that because I as a person I don't have a lot of comfort in building relationships with minors, no matter how limited the relationship is. Um, so that was a boundary that I'm actually pretty good about enforcing. And then the other parts are more muddled it, because I think it's something I'm still learning. Like, how do you, how do I, and how do we collectively build a space where people show up to connect with me and with all of you but understand that there's a limit to that. And I think we're getting there. I think we definitely are. I've seen a big difference. I've seen a big difference. It's hard, you know, it comes with sacrifice. Like I've definitely, ha there's people have left the community because I couldn't offer them what they wanted, you know? Um, and I, I, I feel that. I, every person who leaves the community, especially unhappy, I feel that personally. On like a personal level. Oh um, my gosh, you're so cute! First of all, Sam, it's so good to see you. Thank you for being here and hanging out. Glitch! Glitch, I love you. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. So many subs. So many subs. Um... Ellie, Andrew, Jellybug, King, and Hubris. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Glitch, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that incredible support. It means literally the world to me. Um, the absolute world. And Sam, no worries. It's listen, it's been a it's been a learning experience, and I wouldn't trade it for the world because every every difficult conversation I've had, every um experience that I've had on this streaming journey has helped me understand how to do these things, how to build a community that has an understanding of solid boundaries, how to have difficult conversations with people who aren't respecting my boundaries or who think that we are genuine friends, even though we've never really talked, you know, how to navigate that in a way that is perpetuating kindness and understanding. Because a lot of what I see on like streamer Twitter is like, you know, and I get it, it's hard, but I see a lot of tweets that are like, like, we're not friends and don't assume that we are and you suck, <laughs> basically. And like, I don't know, I just feel like there's nicer ways to say it, you know, I don't know. And I just like, I, for me, the hard thing for me, and this is gonna be my life, it's just my life, is balancing boundaries that are firm with kindness and just I want people to leave this space no matter how long they stay here I want them to leave it feeling loved and seen and cared for um and so you know with my boundaries I try to be relatively gentle with them except for some like you've seen me with homophobes in the chat like there is no kindness to be had that's what i'm talking about like there's no room for respectability politics when it comes to things like homophobia and racism that's no you gotta go there's other places for you on twitch unfortunately because twitch refuses to clean up their shit <laughs> Jeez. oh my god three months Lilas, hi, three Lilas, months hi. Enjoy your sprouted coffee bean, my friend, and your emotes, of which there are many more on the way. 
It's been lovely to have you here, Jinx. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, even in the worst situations, there's always kind ways to phase, phrase things and stand your ground. I mean, yes and no. Like, like we were talking about this before, and like there are certain situations that I I can't talk about with kindness because I'm I've got too much pain. You know, like there are certain things that you you've all heard me talk about on this stream that I probably could have said in more delicate ways, but I didn't because I don't have the ability because I've got trauma and pain and frustration involved. Um, but then there are things that I can talk about with kindness and approach with kindness. And I think for me, people confusing friendship in this space is a thing I can approach with kindness because of course, of course, like I'm, you know, I'm building this space as a safe place for us to hang out and connect with each other. And I love you. And I tell you that. And I, I get that it's confusing. Um, so of course I'm going to come to that with like a lot of kindness and, and that's important to me. Um, but some of the other stuff, no, sorry. I don't have a lot of kindness to have. <laughs> um, I've had several discussions about streamer boundaries with friends, and especially when it comes to how to handle those situations with kindness. Yes, exactly, Glitch. Um, Kaylina is one of the people that first got me through the confusion, because I actually, um, earlier on, I had this moment where I was like, oh my god, what I've built is unhealthy. Um, because there's a, there's the level of unhealthy with parasocial relationships. There's a level of like codependency that that I didn't like and there. I was seeing some scary stuff in the community, especially with people viewing me as a therapist. And um, and I I was terrified that I had done the opposite of what I set out to do, which is build a healthy and stable and loving community. And I thought that I maybe had built something that was actually dangerous. Um, and Kaylina offered to talk to me on the phone and we talked for like an hour and she helped me realize that I didn't build something dangerous but I needed some boundaries um, and ever since that conversation I've done a lot of research and I've done a lot of work and I've done a lot of inner work and I've worked with this community and I think we've come to a really great place a really really good place uh, Oh, these are real. These are real. There's one fake one, though. The, um, the fiddly fig is fake. I have never been able to keep a fiddle leaf fig alive. I do feel like here I probably could because I have better light than I ever did in, um, Manhattan. But I didn't want to- I was so sick of killing them, so I bought this one from West Elm. It was not cheap, but it'll live forever, and I love it, and it looks real, right? Everything else is real, though. Um... Everything else is real. Except for those. The, like, potted one. This one? These are fake. <laughs> um, as you probably guessed, because you've never, like, seen me, like, you know, how could I keep vased flowers alive for six months without killing them? <laughs> Everything else is real, though. Everything else is real. Um, if you ever need, like, advice on plants, I'm happy to give them, um, but also, there's somebody better in the chat. I don't know if he's still here. Um, my dear IRL friend, Eric, is a gardener. Um, everything that I know about plants, almost, I mean, so, ha most of what I know about plants is from my grandmother. Anything I don't know from my grandmother, I've learned from Eric as a gardener. Um, so, you should, you should definitely check him out. Um... Joe Baskerville, I don't know how I didn't say hello to you, but Joe, it's so good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, NJ, hi, good to see you. Welcome on in. How is your Sunday going? How is your Sunday going? I love how I was like, when we get back from break, we're going to play the game. And now I'm not playing the game. Glitch, oh my god. Glitch. You're being too nice. CTRL glitch gifted a tier one sub to NJ underscore Ray. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to NJ. I love and appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. NJ, welcome back to the Fox Den. Welcome back to the sub family. It's so good to have you as always. As always. Look at you with that sprouted coffee bean now. Look at that sprouted coffee bean. I love it. I love it. 
Um, yeah, you all are being too nice today. We already had a hype train on Thursday, so we don't need to be so... We don't need to be so wild, alright? We don't need to be so wild. Yeah, we got the Uwuli emote. Do you like the Uwuli emote? I said, what better thing to do with this Uwuli emote that Kelly so lovingly made us than to have it spin around in circles? <laughs> Thank you! You know which is my favorite? Is this one, because... Kelly has a matching one. That's Inuyasha. You all watch Inuyasha? Did Kelly upload it yet? Um, let me see. Kelly? Hey, Kelly. I don't know if Kelly uploaded it yet, but she's got a Kagomi. Um, and it matches it. Like, it, they face each other. I said, I told Kelly, I was like, I would love to have a matching emote with you. And so she made them. <laughs> uh, but I freaking love Inuyasha. So, and, and, and Inuyasha will always remind me of my dear friend Kelly. So, we we love this. We love this. Um, oh, wait, Sage, does she have it? It didn't come up for me, and it's not coming up for you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's being um, approved. I know it's like when you're an affiliate, it takes an annoying amount of time for Twitch to approve your emotes. That has been my absolute favorite thing about being partnered is the ability to just upload an emote and have it be there. I just I think that e I don't understand why affiliates don't have that. Like maybe in the beginning, like when you just become an affiliate, sure, approve the emotes. But when somebody has like demonstrated that they're not uploading horrible things, just let them have it. Uh Little Miss Tick Tick, uh, Anora, I did. I got, um, I got highlights. Do you like? Do you like? <laughs> um, I wanted to go blonde. I wanted to go blonde. I used to be blonde, and I was very happy blonde, and now I'm, I'm happy again. Dana, oh my god, please enjoy listening to the rain. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for hanging out today. It means the world. It means the world. She had her Kagome emote yesterday. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Um, I love I love Kelly and I love Inuyasha and I love that we have matching emotes. Um, some of the new emotes that we have coming will actually match with Sulky. Um, like I told the artist who does Sulky's emotes, I was like, hey, so like Sulky's my partner. Um, so a couple of these commissions like are supposed to match with hers. So like, don't worry, I'm not like copying her or anything. <laughs> But I want them to match. So, like, you know how Silky has, um, Silky, she's got the Pat one, which is me. Um, where's, where, why can't I find Silky? Oh, so this is me on Silky's channel. That's me. Um, we've got to make it blonde now. But that's me, and I am asking for her to make one that is Silky for my channel. That's, like, facing it so the two of them will face together. Um, and then Silky's also got lapis angry like this and i want a peridot angry like this and i want them to be facing each other so a couple of them are gonna be like matchy matchy the, my favorite one my absolute favorite one that i'm having her make is gandalf chill we're gonna have like freaking gandalf with a pipe smoking circles I can't. I freaking love thinking of emotes. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Um, but honestly, I love um, I love the artist that does Sulky's emotes, and their st her her style is very sil similar to Kelly's. So I think they'll work. They'll work well. Um, you're cuddling with your friend's cat. Oh, I love that. Um, I came into Gandalf smoking. My God. Oh my God. Listen, one of my favorite people in the world is in the chat. Speaking of friendos. Uh, Micah, it's so good to see you. Welcome on. And we're actually, we're supposed to be switching to Breath of the Wild. We're gonna, I promise, okay? I just missed you all, so we haven't been talking as much. We had, we had, we had a lot to catch up on. Um, but speaking of cute emotes, Micah has some of the cutest emotes on Twitch, I think, because they're of her cute cats. My, my emote search thing isn't working. I don't know why. Anyway, Micah, put your emotes in the chat, Okay. Put your, put your emotes in the chat. Um, everybody go check out Micah. She's a dear friend um, and just an absolute cutie. And everything's sweet and wholesome in a person. So 
Um, if you like it here, you definitely like it on Micah's channel. You got three new ones? Oh my god, I love it. They're, most of Micah's emotes are based off of um, her two cats, and she's got some cute cats. You like the Gandalf idea? Thank you. I'm very excited. A lot of the emotes that we have coming, I'm very excited about. And I'm just, I'm excited to get a giant bulk drop of emotes for you all without having to, like, stress out my dear friend, you know? Um, that was why, you know, we talked it over and stuff. It was, you know, I just, I wanted to give you all what we've unlocked without completely co-opting my friend's commissions um, <laughs> and stressing her out. Micah playing Breath of the Wild is what got you to start playing it. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Um, yeah, we're about to start playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, mods, did we switch the game? I'm sure we did, because I asked you to ages ago, and I've just been... I've just been chatting it up. As one does. As one does. Um, so anyway, thank you all for the chats today. We're gonna keep chat- we're gonna keep talking. Please keep talking to me while I play. Um... I'm still juggling. This is one of the reasons that we have switched to story-based games is so that I can develop the talent of um, continuing to be chatty and and have like good conversations with you all while also playing a game. <laughs> so, you know, Animal Crossing is a cheat for that because Animal Crossing, there's nothing to it. You can easily keep talking while you terraform. Um, so this is a skill that I'm working on building. Micah, you're sick. God, I feel like everybody in my life is sick. I hope that you feel better soon. I'm sending you virtual chicken soup. I love you. Please feel better. Please feel better. I know, Nicole. I know. This is... I am who I am, okay? And I missed you all. We had things to talk about. But look, I'm switching the screen. See? I switched it. Consolitis. Oh my god. No, no, no. Um, actually, speaking of games, oh, we have an update. Um, I want to, I think that maybe next week, we're going to keep playing Breath of the Wild. Um, we're going to probably play Breath of the Wild, like, at least twice next week. And then, um, while this is updating, we'll go back. <laughs> but I also want to try, um, the new Monster Hunter game. Because I like it. I like it. And it's super cute. And I think you all would like it too. So maybe like... I don't know. Maybe Thursday and Sunday we'll, we'll play Breath of the Wild. And maybe Saturday we'll play Monster Hunter or something like that. I don't know. We'll try. Um, ugh. You know, tonsillitis. I used to get it all the time. They almost took out my tonsils. And then suddenly I just stopped getting it. It was weird. It was weird. Um... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I just, like, I used to get it, like, every month, every two months. And then, and they were going to take out my tonsils. And then I just, um, I just stopped getting it. I really don't know. Maybe when I went vegan? I'm not going to say that as if it's medical advice. But I did stop eating dairy. I don't, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. You know, take that with whatever kind of salt. <laughs> I don't know anything. Uh, it's the new Monster Hunter Stories. The one where you can ride the cute little monsters. Uh, and apparently there's co-op. I got it on the... I returned it on the PC and got it on the Switch so that I could play co-op. So, play with me. Play with me. My partner just told me to get Black Widow. Oh, Black Widow. I see. I get you. Summer, you're going to watch it. I see. Yeah, have fun. I was like, is it a game? <laughs> Should I be playing it? Oh, Gnome, you're so cute. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, Sam, really? Yeah, it's, it looks super fun. It looks super fun. I have it on my other Switch. Um, hello, Switch? Wake up. Wake up. What is that? There it is. <laughs> um, no, I haven't played Hollow Knight. Um, I've seen some people play it, though. The sun is so funny today. I barely have any lighting on. This is all the sun. 
I know I look a little washed out, but that's all right. That's all right. I did actually get a little tan because I've been in the garden so much. I don't usually have a tan. Hmm. Okay. I think it's working now. There we go. Let's turn off the pretzel rocks. And that, because I think it's repeating it. Let me know. Let me know how um, the volume is for the game, because I don't know if it's too loud or not. I don't remember what we were doing last on stream. Hot Lilith Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Saucy, welcome on in. It's so good to see you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, can I just say, like, I don't know. I missed I missed you all so much. I missed saying hello to you and just seeing you and yes, booping you on the nose. <laughs> Micah, you're gorgeous. Did you see um Micah, go to Silky's channel and look at her VOD from Friday? She used that tool that you told us to get on her hair, and she looked gorgeous. I haven't used it on mine yet because I just bleached it and I was afraid of hurting it. But I think that maybe next week I'll try it. But she literally looked like a goddess. Sulky? Are we all in agreement that Sulky has been looking very hot? Because I think that Sulky has been looking very hot. <laughs> It's like a, um, Joe, remind me when I inevitably pee to grab it. It's like a, a wave thing. And basically you just like put it in your hair and it makes you have effortless waves. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, here we are. We had just, so all we did was we left, um, we left Kakariko. Which I'm very aware I'd probably say wrong. Just, you know, accept it. And we came all the way here to Hateno Village, and that's all and that's what we did. So we just got here. We haven't even climbed the thing yet to unlock the map. And that's what we're gonna do first. But first, before we do anything, we're gonna go say hi to this goat. Because Oh, he's cute. And he ran away. Come on, stop. Hello? Wow, you really ran away. <gasps> look at fox. Look at the fox. Look at the fox. Oh, look at this fox. Oh, I love this fox. All right. Where is the tower over here? Hello? Tower? Oh, it's all the way over there. Wait, there's no closer tower? Huh. All right, I guess we'll go back to that tower. We should do that first, I guess, right? Um, let me move this down here. I'm looking too far up. Also, I don't like the black border. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Hold tight. Let me fix this. Game capture. Capture card. And let's just, uh... Just, uh, fix that. Get rid of the black border. You ever want a tutorial on OBS? Is that something that you want? Hello? All right, we're good now. No, we're not. There we are. Okay. <laughs> the ugly black border is gone. <laughs> my horse I like my horse we need we, we did we name our horse I'm forgetting right now willow did we name the horse willow I feel like we did but our horse is extremely unruly that's what I remember the most from the last time we played is that my horse does not listen to me for shit thank you it's so good to see you welcome on in welcome on in um you're looking at your thesis one last time before sending it off I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. All right, let's go. 
See, look, already my horse is like, no. I can't believe that's the only thing. It seems very far. Come on, just listen to me. Real diva, this horse. How do I get over there? All right, can you just listen to me? My God, all right. I feel like... How do I zoom? Okay. Hmm. All right, well, we'll try. <laughs> The love of playing all games chill without speeding through and quick traveling. Um, Sam, I do that too. That's how I like to play um, pretty much all games. Um, it's like slowly and one of my favorite games to play like that is Skyrim. Um, I get like a real joy out of playing Skyrim without fast travel. This horse, I'm trading it in. This horse does not drive. Oh my god. Just stay on the road. Okay. Um, but yeah, Skyrim, like walking instead of fast traveling is so much fun. So much fun. Hi, Erin. Uh, Diva. Erin, I feel like you always come in and think that I'm, I'm saying something dirty or overly silly. This horse. <laughs> Booty, thank you. Also, hello. I know. I'm just annoyed at the horse. The horse is just oh. very unruly. Yeah. And I want it to oh. chill. Oh. I feel like we've been feeding it apples and being kind to it, and it just oh. doesn't want to listen. Eventually we'll get it. We'll get a nice blue horse. Oh, I don't want to know about you two. Get away from me. I don't want to know about you. All right, up here. We made it. Oh no. Let's see. Do I remember how to get around these thingies? Guess we'll just have to be kind of careful. Hopefully I have enough stamina for this. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if I do. Uh, love the Lilith's window. Oh, instead of the green screen. We, um, I didn't want to scare Moon. Moon is being so cute and I, it's got a little bond, his little pride bandana on. And, um, oh no, I freaked it up. I freaked it up. Well, that hurt. Stop. Do not roll off the freaking thing. Um. All right, let me think for a second here. Would any of my powers help? Oh, no, I didn't mean to call you. Would you explode? these thingies? Nope. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I have a memory of something. Nope. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, what about a fire arrow? Hang on, we're gonna cheat. Hang on. We're gonna cheat for a second. We're just gonna load up again. Wait, no, no, no. Where is our- there. We're gonna load to the when we first started, so that I didn't drive over here. I think that I might be able to do this with a fire arrow. I don't remember. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. But I feel like if I get a fire arrow, it might it might help. You like it better than the green screen? Um That's interesting. Do you all like this better than the green screen? Tell me if that's true. I don't need to use the green screen. I thought I was being very pro with the key, with the green screen, but if you if you like this better, then I'll just do this. Um, all right. Is there somewhere I can buy an arrow? Mm. Oh. What do you sell? Some kind of food? Shirts.
think so. Where can I buy weapons? You're not a fan? Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny. Um, I personally never liked it. I like seeing the setting behind you. Aww. That's so cool. I mean, alright. I mean, I don't need to... It, listen, it's less work for me. <laughs> it's a lot less work for me to not use the green screen. The way I don't know anything, and I've played this before. Do we not sell weapons here? Is that the issue? Hmm. And I can't even look at the map. Alright, maybe we'll just, um... Maybe instead of going straight to unlock that, we'll just continue with the story a bit. Uh, you aesthetically like it this way? Okay, makes sense. Uh, when you don't have a lot of space for the camera. Yeah, I mean, like, I know this green screen is silly because I have a beautiful background. Um, I just thought, like, I don't know. Honestly, it was like, maybe this is like a pro streamer thing to do. So I don't need to do it. <laughs> it's easier for me to not. It's easier for me to not. And also, the green screen did weird things to my eyes because I have greenish eyes, and so it made me look a little creepy. The big struggle I actually have with Nintendo games, and the reason that I haven't been playing a lot of console games, is I end up playing them directly in OBS, and they're kind of tiny, so I have a little bit of trouble seeing them, so I'm over here like... <laughs> I need to figure out how I can get them on the other screen. Because I feel like that's one of the reasons I'm having trouble finding a store right now. Because I can't actually see them great. But anyway, let's just go up and we'll follow the story for now. And we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the map in a moment. I do feel like a fire might potentially fix that problem. But I don't, I don't know for sure. So... For now, we'll just go up here. Dar, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, are you weapons? What are you so? Is that food? What is that? What are you selling this establishment? Oh, you're an inn. <laughs> you're an inn. That's right. Uh, this is what you and Silky helped me with forever ago. You have to plug the out port of the HDMI into the second monitor. Oh, yeah, I know. Did I make it sound like... I might have made it sound like I don't know how to do it. I'm just lazy. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key of it, is that I'm lazy. And also, I'm spoiled with a lot of monitors, and I actually, like, use them all. So, like... I have the chat on this monitor, I have OBS and the game on this monitor, and then on the top I have the Discord open so I can see the chat for that, so I can see the mods being the mods. I don't need to do that though. Um, and like, when I play a PC game, I don't have it like that, so I need to just get over it. I need to just get over it and set it up. Um, I am... Sam, I'm neither. <laughs> I, I pronounce it Lilis. Lil... Lil, like Lily, Lilis, but technically it's French. And the only person I know that ever says it correctly is actually Micah in the chat. Um, I think it's technically, and Brian, the, the bot, actually says it nicely. It's like Lila, Lila. It means lilac in French. Um, so I don't actually say it correctly. So, which is why I don't get all like, I don't actually care when people don't say it right. <laughs> like, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but the, if you want to say it like I say it, it's Lilis. Lil. Um, but like I said, everyone pronounces it. A lot of people say Lilis. Most people who don't know me or have never heard me say my name out loud say Lilis. Lilis Fox, which I actually think sounds quite lovely. Um, I've just never... I've just never said it like that because I'm American. And Americans say things like American. Oh, it's a pretty day. Look how pretty. Look at the rolling clouds. Yesterday in real life, we had like anime clouds. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like those like puffy summer anime clouds. 
That's what the sky looked like yesterday. Hello? I wanted to interact with you. No soliciting. I want to put a sign up like that. If you ever want to see me, like, annoyed, the easiest thing to do is to come solicit at my actual house. Like, people that come to my house to sell something, or worse, to convert me to a religion, I just am- I have no patience. I'm very abruptly rude to them. Like, I just- I'm just like, get off my property. Like, I don't- I don't want to know about this. Like, please do not come to my house and try to get me to subscribe to a religion. I- like, the- the actual audacity. Like, the actual audacity of it. Yeah, same. Same, same, same. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm- like, I'm looking at this torch. And I'm like, I probably don't need fire arrows. I could probably just use a torch to get fire on that tower. Maybe we'll try that after we talk to this- these lovely folks. Hello. This is the Hiteno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Indeed I do. The director's in the back. A terribly busy person. Please try to keep it brief. I'd love to say that to people. I'm terribly busy. Please keep it brief. He's so rude. Hippity hoppity, get off my property. Exactly. Peace out. Hi. Hi. Welcome back, Tiny. Good to see you. Imagine you've seen... You've never seen so many books in one place. Um, Simon, have you seen my bedroom? Because I have a freaking lot. We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number... What's that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? It's my iPad. I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Sure. But, hmm, strange. Oh, oh right, they give me some more thingies. I forget what. You are Link. You know my name. Um. Oh, that's good to know, Sam. I, yeah, I just, like, I'm just sort of, like, I'm very much, like, a you-do-you person. Like, I, I don't personally, I'm not a religious person. It doesn't bother me when people are. I just don't like it when people try to tell me what to do. <laughs> tell me what to do, okay? I'm good. If we're, if you do you and I do me, we're good. <laughs> he will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. <gasps> I haven't introduced our director. Oh. Ms. Pura. Ah, she was trying she was trying to be all sneaky and make it seem like he was the director. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Um, I love going over the list of con controversies for their things, so at least they know it's oh my god, that's so funny, beer man. Uh funny thing about my grandmother is that she loves solicitors. She'll, like, actually start up a conversation with them. Like, I used to, like, when I was a kid, I would come home from school and she would have solicitors sitting at my kitchen table and she would have given them coffee. And I think it's because she just likes talking to people and she'd, like, take all their little pamphlets. It used to crack me up. Uh, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but... Yeah, it's... Don't mansplain, Simon. Let her speak for herself. I am surprised. Nippity snap. No, no real thick booty wants things forced on them. Exactly. <laughs> My grandma is really cute. She is really cute. Do you remember any dreams from your time? No. Uh, I don't remember. I, 
is the one who put you safely into the slumber. Enjoy, Nicole. Thank you for hanging out. Tara said I'm allergic to getting older, actually. Same, honestly. Same. Um, I've been playing this game since release and I'm still discovering new things. Absolutely same, Gnome. It's been a while since I've played too, so I feel like I'm kind of living it again. Definitely been a while since I've played the story, because I used, I mostly I just like log on and take pictures and stuff. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk. I think you're charming, Pura. Aren't you a child? Oh, God. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. But in some ways, it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so don't read it. The easiest way to get me to read something is to be like, hey, don't read this thing that's upstairs. She is an amazing and inspiring woman. She truly is. She truly is. Um, you've been reading fanfic? Like, like Breath of the Wild fanfic? Stop, please. Can you put some in the Discord? I wanna, I want to read. Um, oh my gosh, yes! So brokenly enjoy your target run. That sounds so much fun. Back to the topic at hand. Oh! Here you are after 100 years to defeat Calamity Ganon, who's growing in strength every passing moment. <laughs> And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. And to help with the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. Yes, please. <laughs> what is this errand you speak of? Oh, yes. Everybody in this chat is lovely, Beer Man. Um, we all... I think that we are the cutest place on the internet, if I do say so myself. You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free? Nothing is free in this world. In this late-stage capitalism, Pura, I did not assume. I'm gonna tell you that I did, though. Post-slumber of restoration subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Let me explain why this what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall? I know. Could you please bring the blue flame to the town? Oh, right. I remember, I remember this. Wow. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. All right, I got you, I got you. And then there's me. <laughs> we love you, booty thick. We love you, booty thick. Um, all right. Where is the fire? Is it outside? They do have a lot of lovely books. This is honestly a dream. Piles and piles and piles of books all around your house. I'm into it. All right, let's go. Let's go get the flame. I think it's. Oh, it's raining. Will it work in the rain? I don't remember. Wait, how do I get you to work? Isn't this where the flame comes from? Hmm. Am I misremembering? Girl, where is the flame? <laughs> On the high ground behind Reed's house. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so I don't really like hints. Um, Tiny, thank you for asking. There's like a timed thing that goes off in the chat that's basically like, let me muddle through it. Um, because it might, it might look, oof, why did I do that? It might look like I'm in agony trying to figure it out, but I actually enjoy it. So I, if I want help, I will specifically say, chat, can you help me with this? Um, it'll be really obvious. It'll be really obvious. I've been reading on Twitter about the Triforce, how it came to be and such. Oh my God. Um... I need to I need to read all of this. I need to read all of this. Per is neoliberal stop. I freaking love you, Tiny. I love that you know what that is. I can't. I love that. <laughs> um, okay, let's grab. Do I need that? What do I have? See, hang on. I'm gonna turn this. This cam border is not working great for me in its location. So let me move my down here 
I think that that's better. Um, I do need this torch, so we'll take that. Ancient furnace is behind somebody's house. Oh, it's on the, it's probably, it's probably what I'm seeing there. Hang on. Let's go to the adventure log. Yeah, okay, so we can follow this. Me realizing both Link and Zelda are tiny little babies. Aw. Oh, I see the blue flame in the distance. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you, Julia. In my head, I was thinking we needed to bring the blue flame to the town, but I now remember we need to... Maddie... Maddie, this is an 18 plus stream. Bye, hun. Happy birthday, though. Okay. I know I need to do this. This is what I remember. My favorite fan art now is the protagonist Zelda in Breath of the Wild 2. Oh my god, I can't. I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. I'm honestly so excited. Wait, how do I get across? How do I... Hello? Why does this hurt my brain? Hang on. I can't get across there, right? I'm gonna... I think that that is meant to trip me up. I think we need to come down here. These are, this is some of my favorite grass to cut, by the way. Oh ho! I feel like I'm already doing awful. Because now I'm not even seeing any of the... <laughs> not even seeing any of the things to light. Oh wait, here's one! Here's one. Maybe I'm doing okay. The music in Hateno is one of my favorite Same. I love it. Hello, darlings. Maddie, thank you for the follow. Okay. I think we're on the right track now. If it looks stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> Uh, I can jump when I hope this. Yeah, okay. At least the weather cleared. Honestly, all of the music in Breath of the Wild is is stunning. Um, some of my favorite music in games in general is in this game. Like the stable music. It's just, it's so beautiful. The fairy music. I mean, a lot of our alerts come from this game for a reason. Video game soundtracks are so meaningful. Where am I going? Did I go the wrong way? Yes. I did. Golden, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Rito Village. Yes, I love Rito Village. Because um, you all know I want more than anything to be a person who can fly. So, like, the idea of living in a village like Rito Village is, is just amazing to me. Now where is that other one? Did I get it? The one that like I couldn't get across the river? Do I actually need to light all these? I don't remember. God. I don't remember if this is important or not. 
Um, it is so atmospheric. It's one of the reasons that I'll just, like, turn this game on and play. Um, even just to, like, wander around, ride my horse, take pictures, is just to zen out to the music. Zen out. I do feel like I probably missed one or two of those. I just don't remember why I needed to get them all. Like, I don't know if the furnace will not light, or if I just get, like, a Korok or something for it. Oh my god, speaking of Koroks, hang on. Oh, I did it! Okay, cool. We need to add, yeah. We need to add the Koroks. Um... Julia, how do I how do I see them again? In the pause screen or the loading screen? I do feel like something happens if you light it a lot. Gerudo Desert is pretty too. Um Julia, to see the number is Korok Korox with an S. To add is Korok add. Um let's take a second to save and we'll go to the loading screen so we can update it. Um, wait, you counted it? It, sa it said we have three? If so, that's awesome, because that's what I guessed. But you, you paid attention? You're so good. I do feel like something probably happens if you get them all. Um, oh, in my inventory. You looked when we loaded the screen. Oh, you're so good, Julia. We love ya. Um, well, that's awesome, because that's what I guessed. So now when we add mods, you're the only ones that can do it. If you do Korok add, I think that's what it is, it'll add one to the counter. And then anybody can do exclamation Koroks and see how many we've caught. Found. Bunch of, oh, bunch of cuties! Stuff that's so cute. That's so cute. Welcome on in, Raiders. Welcome on in. It's good to see you. How how was your stream, Bella? What are you up to? Uh, my name is Lilith Fox, and we are having a really cozy, chill Sunday. We started with a coffee date, which is still ongoing, and we chatted for like two hours and now we're playing breath of the wild um so if that sounds like your kind of thing please come hang out it's great to have you um bella you were playing animal crossing what were you up in what were you up to in animal crossing how are you my friend it's good to see you um everybody go check out the incredible uh not bella who is actually bella <laughs> who is actually bella all right so we did the thing we did the thing for us. We did the thing. Stream was lovered. We watered flowers. Ooh, I love that. Um, you wore a hot tag outfit? I love that. Bella, not Bella. I know. Bella is actually a Bella. Blinky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over here. Ooh, do we get the lube again? My favorite thing is when the lube comes down. <laughs> oh, God. Earning the 18 plus. You know us. Uh, Killer, thank you so much for the hello. Welcome on in, Raiders. It's so good to have you. Snap. <laughs> Hide and stone lock removed. Ooh. Now, let's do the thing. Let's do this thing. Just some friendly lube to make things a little bit easier. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, the camera. Yes. I love the camera. Starting repair. There it is. There it is, our friendly lube. It has such a splash. I'm so excited about the camera. The ca you know me, I love taking pictures. I'm not gonna lie, there's probably gonna be streams where we basically just take pictures. You okay with that? Are you okay with just like wandering around Hy Hyrule taking pictures? 
There's something so satisfying about filling up this compendium. Please tell those of you who play this game, please tell me you agree that there is nothing more satisfying than watching this thing fill up. Basically, you take pictures and they show up in the compendium and it's just, it's everything. It's everything. <laughs> I always started singing Cry Me a River when it splashed the iPad. Oh my God, stop. Cry Me a River. Which one is it? Ooh, ooh. Camera, Hyrule Compendium Album. Take a picture of me with the camera. Yes, yes, we can do that. I just don't remember how to do it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope, that's... Oh. I didn't mean to do that, Pura. I'm very sorry. I just don't remember how to do things. There we go. I didn't just shoot her in the face with a freaking arrow. All right, cutie, look at you. Can I get in the picture? Yes, okay. Wait. <laughs> oh, one day I'll remember the... Okay, hang on. How do I pose? Oh, 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 I like that actually. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if this will count, but let's... How do you po how do I make him pose again? What was I pushing? Oh. Does anyone remember how do I get him to pose? I was pushing it before and now I don't remember. Um, I'm directly asking. Joystick. Not that one. Ah, perfect. There we go. This is the perfect shot. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh god. I wonder if that'll work. Oh no, it just it came as the traveler's bow. That's so funny. All right, fine. We'll take a real picture. We'll get him in the background. Oh, we can't. Okay. We'll zoom. It's focusing on the book. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, whoa. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Did that work? Hey. How's the picture taking? Oh, we did. Who is this beautiful young creature? That's what I say to myself when I take a selfie. Who is this beautiful creature? Ooh. Sorry, I kind of lost it. Aww. Oh, it's just a pretty girl in these images. They are some old landscape photos. Yes, we love Zelda. <sighs> so even though we didn't, we didn't unlock the cosplay with our charity stream because because my goals for the charity stream were too were too lofty. I didn't know how to I didn't know how to assume like guess what we'd be able to raise over a month. So we didn't unlock the cosplay, but I feel like I want to do it anyway. Um should I do it anyway? Should I do Zelda cosplay anyway? I feel like I should. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Wow. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually, is like finding the lost memories. I really enjoy that part. Ooh. You don't have to worry about this, blah, 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 ancient materials. Okay. <laughs> as if my joy weren't enough, if you could bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as the real blood. What is this something good? I'll take something good. Should we go read her diary? How do I get up there? Up here? No. That's not the way. 
Not the unfunctional ladder that I just tried to climb. I can't. Um, I think it will be bonked. Yep, thank you, Bella. <laughs> you can also put, um, if you ever take a clip of this channel, like that goes for all of you, and you really like it and you want to, you can share it in the clips channel in the Discord. Um, I love looking at the clips in there. Also, any of you who clip things in this channel are my saviors. I love you. Um, cause I'm trying to diversify my content. <laughs> Aren't I such a pro streamer with that statement? Diversify my content. Basically that means that I'm gonna be posting clip places. Um, so if you clip things, it means that I don't need to clip things and that makes me really happy. So thank you for being the best. How do I get up there? I don't remember. Let me just scale your house. Go with the diary. Pro streaming language only. Exactly. I know. Well, you know, Sulky, Sulky has been really good about posting on TikTok, and one of her TikToks just like blew up, and she already got to like a thousand followers, which means she can stream over there. So now I've got to catch up. I've got to catch up. Uh, scaling houses seems like a roof job. King, one of my favorite things is like about like my, one of my favorite games to scale things in. The, that ha I had a hard time getting that out just now. Is the Assassin's Creed series. One of my favorite things about those games is just, like, climbing shit. <laughs> Sage, good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. Listen. In all seriousness, anti-aging is a, is a patriarchal capitalist ploy. Enjoy the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. Stop. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid and our defense impenetrable. <laughs> you were going to say that? Exactly. Enjoy your, enjoy your wrinkles, everybody. I mean, the, the alternative to aging is death, so... We'll take it. Next page. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Sleep. Since I'm the test subject, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately tomorrow. I will try to figure out what went awry. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again in floor length. My wrinkles, once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. There are a lot of ethical implications of this study, for sure. They sell and market so much stuff for people to look younger. They have perfect skin, no cellulite. It's crazy. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's, it's literally... A whole in like it is a market to make people feel bad about themselves so that they spend money um it's bull it's bull and all the filters on social media are not helping like i've i try out like filters on instagram and there are some that legit change the structure of my face and i'm just like okay so i use this filter and i take like a beautiful weird selfie of myself and then you see me on stream and I will look entirely different. <laughs> it just... I don't know. Like, they literally change the structure of my face. Like, okay, fine. Have a filter that, like, is flattering. Maybe puts makeup on you, whatever. But some of them actually change my face, which is just weird. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. My height, my height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything, pushing our facility to its limit. I'm a woman in my early 50s. In other words, I have reversed my age more than 70 years. 
I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Oh. Oh, booty. Thank you. It's very sweet. I try, I'm trying to feel that way. It is hard. Loving yourself is hard. So if you are on that journey with me, trying to love yourself, um, I see you. I see you. Yes, Eurocentric. Yep, I agree with that, Sage. I agree with that. Um, yeah. I mean, anything that people share on social media is like a very small and romanticized percentage of their actual life. Including me. Including me. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. It's one of the reasons I try to tell you all about when I'm having hard days. Just to, like, keep it real, you know? Like... God, I would never want you to think that I'm just out here living, like, a blessed life in the garden without any self-hate. <laughs> just... It's real. Uh, upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version. I'm a woman in my 30s. 30 years old. I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research. First thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah Center. Wow, you're really right in a lot. I hope to the gods that I'll be able to assist in the destruction of the Calamity. I am now in my 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon has been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps the ta his power has been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. Hi, Sai! Good to see you! I've missed you as well. I've missed you as well. Is that a guardian head on the floor? Yes, it is. Good eyes, King. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. So young, yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to ever have been appointed to the Imperial Guard. He was also a gifted swordsman. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us, Sheikah researchers, have had a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate and left that had left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put it under the test. It was the best we could do. All this lore we're getting right now. Enjoy your book club! Oh my god, I love that. Appa, welcome in! Appa yippity yip. You win. For best username. I freaking love Avatar The Last Airbender. Who is your favorite Avatar The Last Airbender character? If you feel comfortable saying so. My favorite is Uncle Iroh. 100%. I awoke to something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I've come to conclude it is a pimple. <laughs> this is such a mood. The results of today's physical exam indicate that the body and mind have reverted to a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently. <laughs> oh, God. The blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. My age reversal has progressed further. I am now six-year-old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things. Where is that genius swordman? <laughs> Wake up already. Hmm. <laughs> How can I surely find me here? I want to go in and just kick Blanky awake, but I doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with my six-year-old body. Instead, I think I'll begin the process of working on a rune. This morning exam results indicated that I'm still age six. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this could be the reversing. This would help me reverse it. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature, I found the Guidance Stone had stopped. I sent Simon to the Ancient Furnace, but he was clumsy. Oh, poor Simon. I feel like Simon gets a lot of hate from her. Oh, um, Katara's a really good, um, character. I really love Katara. Um. It's the consequences of my untested scientific experiments. Um, I love Iroh, Toph, and Appa. Um, don't worry about 
about a curse word. I don't see a curse word. Um, but curses are allowed. Curses are allowed. I've blocked a few things that I find offensive, but um, most curses are allowed. Um, those are very good choices. Appa is, an, Appa is amazing. I also love Toph. Um, I actually, what I, one of the things I love most about Toph is like the way she experiences like gender. I just, I, I like, I, I, I relate to her a lot. I relate to her, I relate to her a lot. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of the gas lamps. My age reversal has progressed further. Did we already finish this? We did. Why are we still, oh, okay, we went backwards. We're good now. Thank you for that illuminating story. Oh yes, I blocked bitch. I don't like the word bitch all that much. Most of the time it would be used against me for daring to be a woman on the internet. <laughs> so I blocked it. I blocked it. Okay. So what I want to try is going to back to that tower and seeing if we can light it with fire. But doesn't that mean, I wonder if there's a cooking lamp near it. We'll see. Um, I don't think I can choose a favorite character. The whole thing is so ingrained in my growing up. It's literally one of my favorite shows of all time. It's so, so good. Don't you want to do this? Wouldn't this be so fun? To just like soar through the air? I would, not gonna lie, I'm sure my anxiety would make me scared. But I want to. Are they really booty? I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Um, I know that creators are working on, like one of the creators is working on this comic that I've been following and I just feel like I've given up on it ever coming out, but it looked so good. It looked like a, something I would really, really enjoy. Um, but I don't know, like, I don't know if it's ever gonna actually come out. Can I ride this? Can I ride a horse with this? No, okay. <laughs> that answered that question. Um, all right, let's, let's save and head over there and see if, if there's a fire over there we can use. I don't even know if this is gonna work. This is just me guessing that we can do that. Fat, get out of the way. It's hard enough to control this horse. Bye, Sam. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have the best night. I hope you have the best night. Um, they have an Avatar Studios now. Ooh, ooh. I um I would love to see that. Do, what do they know what it's gonna be? Like, is it gonna be a continuation? Is it gonna be a new story like Korra was? Um, please give me details. I loved Korra. You know, you wouldn't run off the cliff if you would just listen to me. Oh, I should rescue you, huh? Hey, that's rude. Wait. Listen, I can, I can yell about my horse being rude, but you can't hit my horse. It's very not allowed. It's very not allowed. Oh, it's gonna be live action? Oh, I feel like I've been burned by that before. Like, the live action movie was so horrific. I will hear no other reality. Like, it was so bad. It was so bad. I gotta load up my buddy with vegetables. Wait, you're not who I rescued. Where's the person I just... I'm good. I just... Ah. I wanted to talk to who I just rescued. Where are you? Hello? She's gone. She didn't even hang around. She didn't even hang around to say thank you. Yep. Oh, that's rude. Honestly, I'm shocked that my horse participated in the combat because look at it. It can't even 
It can't even listen to me. Like, <laughs> you know, we're only on here because you don't listen to my commands. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I, went, I made a wrong turn. Huh. I'm sure we can get up there from here. Huh. Yeah, they, they did vanish. Was it the merchant? No, I think it was a- I thought it was a woman. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> I know, Link is so tiny. He really is. He's so cute. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Can I get over there from here? Oh, I'm not in the mood. I just- I want to just get over there. We took such a detour. I don't even think I can get over there from here. Ugh. We do stand a small hero. We do. He's he's really he's pushing the role the gender role boundaries here. Small but strong. Yeah, I mean say what you will about my horse. She does have power. Okay. Can we... How do I get up there? Is it this way? Can I even get there from where I am? Am I just... I think I... I think we need to go back up here. I think I made... I made too... Too big of a turn. We'll just go back up. He's five foot tall. I'm only a little bit taller than that. I'm not a very big human. Um, I'm like five three and a half. I'm like five three and a half. Five four on a good day. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like their height varies? I don't know. I just feel like sometimes my, sometimes I'm shrinking. Probably because of my posture. All right, I think we're back on track now. You're five eight. I've always, I used to want to be taller. Um, I mean, I still do, but I'm just trying to, you know, self-love. I'm trying to love. I'm trying to love myself. All right, we're going the right way now. Five foot? Oh my god, you're cute. I love five foot. Sulky and I are more or less the same height, but I'm a little bit taller than her. She claims that I'm not, but I, I am. I am. I want to be taller so I don't have to climb to reach things. I actually like climbing to reach things. I don't know why. I feel like it's fun. All right, please tell me there's some fire over here. I've got to believe that the game would give me some kind of fire nearby. Do you all have fire? Do you really not? I guess I could make fire. I feel like I can do that. Do I have the materials for that? I'm genuinely not sure. You have to climb to reach your hangers. Oh my god. Just run when I tell you to run, please. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not seeing any fire I do feel like that would I do feel like if I was able to make this light this on fire it would work I don't know if I'm right but I just I feel like that could be true oh there's a cooking pot all right let's save Um, oh, I'm not able, I'm not good at converting things. I'm sorry. I'm really like, I'm very bad at math. Like all kinds of math, my brain just shuts off. All right. Now, how do I light this? Oh God. Okay. Let's see. I feel like flint or something let me move my let me move my annoying head hang on what do i have here 
Do I not have the ability to create fire? Wait, here's wood. Can I? If I have something to light it. Okay. What can I use to light it? Appa, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I'm stressed. I would like to be able to make a fire. Rock salt? Come on. I don't have anything to make a fire. Jeansy, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. <sighs> can I... Can I make a fire with... Oh. 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 Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I have an idea. Will this work? I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to try blowing it up. Damn it! That didn't work! <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Wait. How do I make a fire? How do... What? What? What do I... Huh. What can I use? Please. Why doesn't my bomb work? There be light. I'm on fire. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. <laughs> That's satisfying. Oh, no. I need more fire. Do I, or is it just gonna? It's gonna burn. All right, we're good. We're we we're good with the fire. Okay. <laughs> burn, baby. Nope. Look at it go. All right, up we do. Dumb. Well, I didn't have enough energy because I've been putting my hearts into. Hearts. I've been putting my points into hearts and not stamina. Ooh, I forgot about that sage. I forgot about updrift. I probably could have used that. Probably could have used that. Ooh. Oh no! Wait! They didn't all burn! <gasps> Hopefully we're okay. You do the stamina first, but I felt like I was dying really quickly. Oops. Okay. Uh. All right. My stamina. 
stamina, but it wasn't before. Earlier in the stream, I wasn't able to get up because of the because of the pricklies. I don't think. Should be good now though. I mean, we've gotten this far. Oof. All right. Hopefully, we can make this last leg. I got it. I'm, I'm glad you all have so much faith. Oh, I do. Can I put that on now? Thank you for your big brain, Julia. I don't know how to get up there, though, because... I, I feel like I screwed up here. Goodness for the fairies. All right, we'll try this way. It's getting dark. Oh, goodness. You've been cooking your fairies? Wait, what happens if you cook them? I've never tried cook I've never thought to cook a fairy. What is this brain you've got? Kind of what kind of brain cooks a fairy? Mm. All right. It's raining now. Oh, I think this is better. I think you think we'll be okay. And now, where is this I feel like we got ourselves into the same thing. We might need to go around more. Let's see. So up there is not good. So why don't we go to the left here? Like, like this. You get a fairy tonic? What does the fairy tonic do? I've never done- I've never tried that. I've never thought to kill my fairies. Who are you people? Killing your fairies. Alright. Now what? Well, that didn't work. This is really testing my brain capacity, I need you to know. Oh, they sprinkle dust on the on the okay so it's not actually killing the fairies it's just like encouraging them to participate in the cooking all right let's just let's just try let's just try this oh i see i see i see all right we're good now we figured it out. I mean, I like them. I like that they saved my life. I think it's cute that they hang around with me and save my life in dire situations. Link climbing is me exercising. The grunting, the, the sweat, the drama of it all. We did it! I feel like we deserve a medal for that. That was a that was a whole lot. That was a whole lot. Alright. In the rain, no less. The fairy does get a choice. Okay. It was a whole ass journey. I do feel like the fire probably helped, okay? It wasn't for nothing. Boom. Boom. And we can fast travel back, which I think we'll do. I want to go meet the people who give us a house. 
Get a little lube in there, you know, just to make things move. Doing stuff. Oof, that's a big piece of map. I love, I love unlocking the map. It brings me a lot of joy. If any, any game where you start out with a map that's not unlocked and then by traveling you unlock it is, is just serotonin for me. I just love it. It's literally, I could just walk around and unlock the maps. So should we fast travel or should we... I feel like we should fast travel. Uh, Sierra, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Um, I live vicariously like how Link can be a homeowner, but I can't. Same. I totally feel that. Um, that's one of the things I love about Skyrim is they added that, like, it was a while ago that they added it, but it was like a DLC that lets you build your own home. Um, and so, like, I literally build myself, like, a homestead, and it's just, it's beauty and grace. Let's travel back there. I would love to play a little Skyrim with you. Like, it's not a game I would see myself, like, playing through, because I've just played it so many times. Um, but maybe, like, a random day where we just want to be cozy and, like, play a little bit of Skyrim. I feel like that would be fun. Yeah, you can. I love any game where I can build a home. Um, one of the reasons I'm so excited about that Paleo game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So, go back to the town. I would love for it to stop raining. I'd love to have nice weather for once. Um, that's one thing I love about Subnautica, too, is, like, building the base. I've been really enjoying building bases. Um, am I gonna get Sk Skyward Sword? I've never played Skyward Sword. Um, I've been thinking about it. Should I? Should I? Uh, H. Nicole, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday, my friend. I just realized we probably could have done... Oh my gosh, we didn't do this, the uh, we didn't do the shrine yet. We need to do the shrine. We have not been doing anything. I feel like this whole stream is gonna be in this village. Progress who? All right, let's do the shrine first. You reset your other profiles? Awesome, Aaron. so are you gonna play through with us? We totally should. We totally should. Um, it's good story-wise, but gets a lot of criticism from the fan base. Um, I mean, I'll probably play it. If we're being honest, like, I'll probably just get it and play it. Whether it'll be, like, immediately, I don't know. See, I took, like, I did play a lot of games on the Wii. Like, the Wii, I had the Wii at a time when I wasn't really into playing Nintendo games. Um, so a lot of the games that were out on the Wii, I just missed. I just didn't play them. I was, like, in, like, a, like, like, a PlayStation vibe. Sulky, good morning, I love you! Oh, we were talking about how sexy you look these days. That's what you missed while you were sleeping. Until 2 p.m. <laughs> also, how is it 2 p.m.? My god. Where did the time go? Okay, what is this about? I gotta think. Don't interrupt my thinking. You know how hard it is for me. Oh, Lily, is this one hard? Stop. I've already... My brain has been working so hard. Oh! I have a trick for this one. Here's my trick. You ready? Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boom. Ugh, it's gonna take me a little bit. But I don't I don't fuck with the maze. I can't be bothered. Oh, we're close. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm 
very happy to say that I came up with this on my own. I didn't even like look up a video. It just like happened out of frustration. No! <laughs> Wait, I promise it's possible. Maybe if I do this, hang on. Hang on, this is better. This is better. Wait! Everybody's getting my, like, mega focus face right now. Please! Stop! Oh, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee! Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, I'm struggling hard. I'm struggling hard. <laughs> I need more momentum. Okay. Is that... That's too much momentum. There we go. Come on. Oh, damn it. All right. Hang on. I'm going back to this way. Maybe on an angle. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Michelle, thank you for following while I struggle so hard. I appreciate you. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm dying right now. I can't with this. Please, somebody save me. You can't even give me a hint because I know what to do. I just... I just can't physically do it. Wait, booty! Don't be mean. I'll ban you. Oh, I'm st I'm 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 about to rage quit. I'm about to rage quit. End the stream, everybody. Everybody, sorry, it's been real. Oh, that was, that was too close. That was too close. Wait! <laughs> I hate my life. Mods. Don't you know it's your job to do the hard parts in games for me? Oh, wait, wait, was that something? Did I just figure something out? No, I didn't, I didn't figure anything out. <laughs> Silver, please, what? The higher you lift at the edge, the more up and less left. What edge? It's not a big... Booty! Booty. I'm about to do the freaking maze. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. That was close though. Listen, if you all want to leave, I don't blame you. I don't want to be here either. <laughs> this is not mindful gaming. This is this is horrible. <laughs> I hate it. That should have worked. That should have worked. All of you who are following right now, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also don't care about the chest. Don't even tell me what's in it. 
couldn't care less. Wait, why is it not working? Oh, wait, it did. It did. <laughs> yes, Dean, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Okay. I know I could probably fly, but I'm afraid to die and have to do that again, so we're gonna take the stairs. An ultra rare, never before seen item. I don't care. They can have it. It'll break anyway. It'll break down anyway, slowly over time. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, friends, please, please let nothing else be that complicated ever again. My brain hurts. It's literally going burr. I should probably eat more food. That's why it didn't work out, because I haven't eaten. Not because I don't have a lot of brain cells or anything. Silver, I don't, I did not pay any attention in math or physics, so my brain literally shuts down at the thought of it. Like, I just can't. <laughs> I tried. I really tried to be somebody that could, like, do calculus and physics, and I'm just not. I'm just not. I Like, I know myself. Iona, I love you. How was stream today, my friend? How was stream? You just missed the most painful thing I've ever done. All right. A new age of comfort. I love these these dudes. Where are they? Are they over here? You learned it in engineering. Well, you're cool. We need people like you in the world. Hello? Hi. Evening. Another day, another ruby. What are you doing? Old house has been abandoned. Everyone in Hitano Village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle. Duka, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Not questionable cheesecake. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, you made a cheesecake. Freaking love cheesecake. Did you like it? Did you eat it? Do you like cheesecake? Iona, it's important to me that you love cheesecake. Please. Have at least one food in common with me. Stop, stop demolishing my house. I'll buy this place. Who's the boss? Where is he? You're the boss. Mm. What are you doing? Jiggly Japanese! Oh my god. I've always wanted to try and veganize that. In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing this house. I can buy it. Probably can't right now. Fifty thousand rupees. I know you should be able to get a house in Terrytown. Uh, Emma, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Uh, Sage, I agree. The soundtrack mm -hmm. is gorgeous. When you say you want to buy it, you're talking about fifty thousand rupees. Oh. Mm. I don't have the money though. Mm hmm. 3,000! 30 wood bundles. Okay. Hi. I love this guy. Is this the whole da house or a down payment? It's the whole house. I think. I don't remember. Sulky, I, I got a grocery order. Those are the important things in life. How do I see how much money I have? 
Where's my money? Oh my god, I have 50. Is that my money? 54? Is that what I have? I need to make some money. I should sell some of these jewels. Oh yeah, I'm moving to Hyrule. I would happily move to Hyrule. All right, let's um, let's go sell our jewels here and cut some wood and see if we can get our house. Huntress Gia, welcome on in. Do you play DVD? Do you play as the Huntress? Because I love the Huntress. Um, where can I sell? Can I sell anywhere? I don't remember. God, I need a brain. Can I like sell stuff to you? Why are you creepy? Oh my God, he's creepy. I don't remember him being creepy. Who is that? Ma uh, Mayora, welcome on in. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Are there places like this in the world? I don't know. Should we all move? Find place? Anyone live in a place like this? You just got DVD. Um, your reference to your main tune in the world of Warcraft. Oh my god, awesome. Um, Gia, you should definitely play DVD. Um, we play sometimes on this channel, uh, but mostly we play in the Discord. He does look like Pennywise. I hate him. He's the one that dyes the clothes. Oh. Um. <laughs> Ringa, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Happy, happy Sunday. I keep wanting to say Saturday. Saturday. I've played other Zelda games, uh, Mayora. But this is the game I've definitely played the most. Like, for the most hours and gotten into the most. Other Zelda games I mostly played, like, to chill out and do puzzles, you know? Uh, let's get going and die. No, I don't want to. I'm not interested. I wanted to sell my gems to you, and if I can't do that, then I don't care. That's awesome, Gia. I love that for you. Not that could never be me. <laughs> I play the same games over and over and over again. I don't know why I'm this way, but this is the way that I am. Um Pisa, welcome on in. Hello, I'm here. Where are you? Why do you look so skittish? I'm here to sell. Do you only let me sell clothing? Oh, oh I don't... <gasps> I don't want to sell my mushrooms. I want to sell all of those. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Ellie, good to see you. Welcome on in. Stream is great. Stream is great. Um, yes, I agree, Gia. I just thought, like, I don't know why. I just, I like, um, I love to play the same games over and over again. It's just a little about me. All of them. Take all my opals, please. We're not getting to 5,000. What did I, why did I think I was gonna, um, Pasai, uh, pay, Pasai, Peza, that's what we're gonna try to do, actually. Our goal is to try to get to 100% completion before the second one comes out. I don't know if we'll actually achieve that, especially with the Koroks. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Um, all right. Clearly, we don't have the means to get 3,000. We need to do more exploration. So we'll have to wait on that. What can we do where I'll be able to, like, earn some money? What do we have as far as adventures go? So, Hylian Homeowner. Upgrade components. I'm not ready for that. The Cursed Statue. Shh. 
Should we go back to Impa? Let's go back to Impa. Why not? Enjoy your lurk, Mayora. Um, you're gonna hop on your file. Trying to 100% in master mode? No. I don't... There's very few games that I feel a desire to complete in, like, hard mode, master mode. Um, the only game I actually can think right now that I've done it in is Mass Effect. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because, like, the, I was really into, like, the trophies and the achievements. Um, I played Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 on Nightmare Mode. Um, don't get me wrong. I got a lot of satisfaction out of it, but... Most of the time, I'm trying to play games to chill out, so I'm not super interested in making it exceptionally difficult for myself. Emma, me too. That's what we're gonna- I'm- although, I'm a bit of a hoarder. So I have this constant taught like this constant inner turmoil between wanting to sell everything and make money and wanting to keep everything just in case. I love this. Kilton? Oh my god, Kilton! I remember Kilton. Ah. I remember where he is too. I think I think I remember where he is. How much would Impa's hat sell for? It's priceless. I would love it. Should we do an Impa cosplay? <laughs> Everybody else out here being like doing these like sexy cosplays, and I do an Impa cosplay. <laughs> you all know I'm a grandma at heart, so might as well. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of these locations. <laughs> can we make Impa sexy? I think we can. I think we can. Alright, cool. So we got... That didn't give us any money, though. Uh, let's see. We should just be exploring. So... How do I actually get to the album? There it is. Okay. Do I remember where any of these are? Oh, I never moved myself back. Sorry about that, friends. <sighs> the answer to that is no. I do not remember where any of these are. <laughs> They're lovely, though. All right, let's see. Where do we want to go? Maybe... The map is so big. I always forget how big this game is. I feel like we need to get another horse. Hey, you. You have something to say? I already went there. Oh, we should go take a picture of it. Cool. That's something we can do. Young Impa from Age of Calamity? No, I meant I mean this Impa. I haven't played Age of Calamity. Alright, Pika. Lead the way, even though you're slow as hell. Look at this pace. Look at my little trot. He's a runner, he's a trot. Hi, Tammy! Welcome on in! I love the fireflies. He's so slow! I love the sound of the owls. Dude, I don't even have to sprint to pass you. Look at this. What is this? This isn't even a race. Agonizing. He's old. <laughs> Blink is old too. He's been 
His muscles have atrophied. He's been in slumber for a hundred years. That's it? That's all you're going? Oh my god. Really, Pika? All right, Pika. This is you, Sulky. This is Sulky when we try to go for a run together. I remember you. I don't remember what... I don't remember what you're about. I remember you being hard to follow, though. Let's creep and get some more some more fairies. Oh, can I take a picture? Wait. Wait. Wait! How did I... Nope. There we are. I scared away the fairies. You've never seen this area, Ellie? Have you played this game? You should totally play this game. I feel like you would love this game. Oh, do you not come up? I guess the fairies don't come up. All right, well, that was great. <laughs> the money scamming fairies. Somni, welcome on in. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. My friend lent me her console. Uh, and then got stuck in a temple. Oh my god. You should really play it. I think you'd love it. Why am I climbing a tree? Alright. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm not. Oh, I am. Okay. Hey, dude. I got a picture for you. You gonna give me money, though? Because I want some money. I want some money. Hi, Somnium. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm serious. It's really not that far, dude. You could just you could just walk. You don't need to run. It's not that bad. He's disappointed. He's disappointed. Well, you better still pay me. Fine. Fine. Not him paying me an experience. Oh. Every freelancer's nightmare. Called Mount La Lana Yuru. I get so lost in the snowy areas of this game. Just wait. If you thought it was painful watching me do that, um, that shrine before, just wait until we're like, lost in the snow looking for things. <laughs> Literally so painful. Okay. Here we go. I love the music here too. You know what we need to do is find a new horse. That's what we need to do. Um, Okay, here's what I want. So I'd like to fast travel somewhere else. Um, maybe back here. Oh, that's where Willow is. Okay, but I don't... I want a different horse. Don't... Don't make me feel bad for that. But I don't... I, I want a different horse. Let's go here again. Let's see if we can catch another one. Uh, Thumbnail, I'm, I'm so glad that you think so. Um, try hard to make a comfy space. I don't- I don't promise great gameplay, but I can promise cozy. That I can do. Um, Selkie, so I've got Moon in the Pride bandana, by the way. Um, he was- he was really, uh, showing it off. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get the- the white horse. I'm just nowhere near- I'm nowhere near physically ready to get that horse. Actually, how many of the- spirit orbs do I have? Oh, I have enough to get a new thingy. Hang on. Hang on. We're going back there for a second. 
I want to get a stamina. Hi, puppies! How's work going, my friend? How's work? I love you very much. I missed you. Missed all of you the last week. I'll never go on vacation again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eventually, I'll take another vacation. Vacations are important. Hopefully, my next vacation, I can actually go somewhere. Like Denver. I got your hook. Okay. Let's get... Let's get our spirit orbs going. See if we can land perfectly. Look at that. Pro gaming. Uh, we'll take stamina, thanks. Clearly we need it. He's like... <sighs> Imagine you could actually gain strength from, like, like physical strength from praying. We'd all be praying instead of exercising. Okay, so back to where we were, which is right here. And let's see if we can get a blue horse. I want a blue horse, even if it's speckled. I want a blue one. I want to name it Lapis. Lapis Lazuli, the horse. My nose is bothering me. I've got allergies today. Okay. We're ready to rumble. We're gonna get it, Pisces. Now that you're here, we can do anything. There's that raid music. <laughs> Ooh, there's a blue horse. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, this asshole. He just messed up my plans. That was so annoying. That horse just went so far. You see how far it is? All right, let's try that again. Everybody chill, okay? Everybody chill. It's all right. Nothing to see here. <gasps> I feel like this, I can tell this horse is going to be a lot. This horse. This horse. I feel like this horse is going to be a whole adventure in itself. Ugh. Just chill, okay? Look at this lovely tree that you're next to. Ugh. Why is it running so much? Just chill. Everybody relax. Everybody relax. This is supposed to be relaxing. The name is Lapis. That's why I want a blue horse, so I can name it Lapis. That's the whole point. Lapis Lazuli. We're just gonna call it Lapis, though. God, it really loves this, uh, this brown horse. We must be friends. Oh my god, no! How are you even seeing me? What is that? What is that? The blue horse is so pretty. I know, it's worth it. It's worth it. I know, the rain is very unpredictable in this game. Like, honestly, it's like the weather here. I feel like it keeps raining and then not raining. Oh, I'm just gonna... Ugh. It's 
this horse is very extra. I feel like I feel like she's gonna be even more extra than Willow. Alright, if you turn around, I'm gonna be so mad at you. Lapis, chill. Chill, Lapis. Where are we going? Bless you, Moon. Chill. Chill. Let's go register you. Come on. Come on. Everything is fine. Don't be so wild. Oh my god, not you. that we were able to get her in the first shot because she was being such a diva the whole time she seems to be a little bit easier to control than the other one all right slow down slow down thank you yay we got our blue powers oh we're keeping her regardless of stats right now we can't be bothered with stats Um, you're not the right person. Mm. Sorry. I, I I need to talk to the dude next to you. Huh. Yes, please. Right, Petita? I know. It's literally such a it's such a gorgeous and peaceful mm. game. Um, oh, this one has a wild temperament, too. Yeah, 20 oh. rupees is fine. All right, Lapis. I can't... I can't see. Here we go. Okay. Lapis. Oh. Yeah. They become not wild when you sue them more? Oh, okay. It's not their personality? I thought they had specific personalities. Um, Kaiser, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, because I, I was saying this earlier, I was lazy, and I am just playing the game through OBS. I know that I can set it up so that it comes out on one of my monitors, um, but I'm just being lazy and using it through OBS, which is actually a problem because the game is kind of small and hard to see. So for the next stream, I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, it's the switch. It's the switch. Uh, but I do think I'm going to change it for the next one because it's a little bit it's it's a little bit hard to see some stuff. All right, Lapis. Huh. If I fast travel on Lapis, will she come with me? Should we try it? Let's try it. I want to like, I want to make some money. You can make it so the window pops out just for Elgato. Okay, I'll probably try that for the next one. Well, the next one. It's not worth doing right now. All right. So. Where should we go? Huh. That's a pretty waterfall. Look at that. So lovely. So lovely. Um, today you mean, Petita? Because we... God, when did we start playing? 
I feel like we probably played it like two hours ago. Maybe started playing two hours ago. We chatted for a long time today. We were really chatty this morning. Let's go that way. Right now we're just kind of exploring. We'll get back to the story eventually. Look at all that stamina being put to work. We should probably get lower before we fall to our death. Which we might do. Oof, that was close. That was a little close. Let's eat something. Hmm. Like some shrooms. We just out here foraging. <laughs> Alright. Nice shroom. I would love to just like wander through the woods and collect mushrooms, but I I'm pretty sure I'd kill myself because I don't know what I'm looking for. Silky, I for completely forgot that. Thank you for the tip, my love. I'm hoping that down here is some gems. So what would I do? Just that? Oh, look at the genius. Look at the genius that is Sulky G Games. All right. Are you telling me I don't have... I don't have the tool I need. I came all the way here, and I don't have what I need. Because I don't think I can use that. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so upset. <laughs> Just KT, welcome on in. It's so good to see you. And no, it's not going well. Bombs! Oh my god, stop. I love you. Okay, it's going well again. It's going well. Dang, things are good. We're just gonna bomb it up. Oh, not- wait, we should take a picture, actually. Saved. Stone peblet. Alright. Let's use the square bombs. Wait! Get away from me! Oh my god, you can climb? <laughs> Buy the bombs. Oh, we are. We're trying to make money because I want to become a homeowner. Isn't that just Isn't that just the the vibe? There's Flint. Now we've got Flint. Can I throw a rock at you? You're made of rock. Does a rock hurt you? Well, maybe if I didn't miss. Oh! Oh! Well, that was not smart. God, you're fast for a rock. You are not slow. There we go. Boom. Stop, that's so funny. Booty! You think me laugh. Except for when you're being mean when I'm sucking at a challenge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was okay for you to troll me in that moment. Because I was being pathetic. Okay. We can get a motorcycle. Um, Not for a while, though. I think I need, I think I need to do stuff. To get that. Ooh, rupees under rocks. Imagine it was so easy to make money in real life where you could just lift up a rock. Mm. 
I almost banned you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually ban you. What is this cheap stuff coming out of the rocks though? All this labor for rock salt? Where are the opals? Give me some freaking opals. Ooh, we got a cricket. All right. That really wasn't, that really wasn't super good. It was, it was not as productive as I thought it was gonna be. I thought for sure we would make tons of money with that little journey just now and we really didn't. Oh, Lapis is far away. I need to get that saddle that lets them teleport. Isn't there some kind of saddle that lets your horse teleport? I can fly too. Stop, that's so funny. I just realized that was Fang. What is the next story that we need to do? We talk to Impa. Oh, we need to do the Divine Beasts, duh. Hi, Hi, love. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Happy Sunday. Get out of here. Get away from me with the broom. Oh my god, a boar? Why is he gonna fight me with a broom? Oh my god, you have Meg too? Stop, I love that. That's so cool. I need a DVD emote. I need a DVD emote. Alright. Thad, do you think you're important? We should do a Thad cosplay. Should we do Impa or Thad? <laughs> the most obscure Breath of the Wild cosplay. Great. Well, now we're just doing nonsense. So, which divine beast should we do first? I like to do the water one first. Tends to be what I do. Ugh. <sighs> Well, hang on. It don't tell me, it doesn't tell me which is which. Zora, right? I know. Is this Zora up here? I don't remember. Is Zora the closest? That's Zora. Should we head there? Maybe we'll head there. Without a freaking horse, because I don't remember where they are now. I need to I need to remember how to get that saddle. There's a way to get a saddle that makes them teleport. Don't remember how to do that. All right, so that way. Bye Pisces, enjoy the rest of work. Enjoy the rest of work. We're gonna just go on a wild and grand adventure here. Um, and see what we can see. No, not the bomb. We don't want the bomb. You do Mifa, Rivali, Urbosa, and then Goro. I feel like I switch those last two. I feel like I do the Goro before Urbosa. I definitely always do Urbosa last. I don't know why. It just seems to be the way that I do it. Oh, 
This looks like a puzzle. Did we already do this puzzle? <laughs> Wait, why isn't it working? <laughs> I almost died just now. <laughs> why am I the worst Breath of the Wild player there ever was? What is wrong with me? Okay. Eat some soup. See, if I put that in there, it'd be the same. Why is that not working? Clearly, that's not what I'm supposed to do. There is a cookbook. And I find that really awesome. Now, tell me this doesn't go in the middle here. Like, obviously, that's what I'm supposed to do. So, why is it not working? because my big brain cracked it. Cracked it. It's called the Legends Cookbook. I can't believe we've only found four. Why are we so tragic? Is my horse anywhere near here? Lapis could not hear my call. Tragic. You like it? You like my command? Oh no. Are you... Are you a Yiga? Let's save. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this guy looks sus. I'm sus of this guy. You. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was sus. I'm really not in the mood to mess with you, dude. Oh my god, you are not weak. <sighs> oh my... I'm gonna die. Wait. talk to him this time. We are way too we are way too weak right now. I'm way too weak. I had to be fighting off the Yiga clan. 
Yeah, they made me mistrust a lot of people, too. I always save before I talk to travelers for that reason, because I'm just like, eh, no. Yeah, we're not talking to you. Bye. Oh, oh. you forced me to talk to you? No. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. So annoyed. I don't want to fight you. I don't. I don't want to fight you. Wait. Can I get you a bombs? Oh no, we're screwed. We're screwed. You're exploring the Yiga hideout? Oh my god. They have a good weapon? Yeah, but I'm so weak right now. Like, I'm literally... I don't know. I don't even have good good food to, like, eat. I don't know. I guess, I mean, I could try, but let's just try to get or go around him. I'm okay with being a, a, a baby chicken. I'm okay with being a little wee chicken baby. Sneak. <laughs> yeah, we, we avoided. We avoided. We need to do more, um... More shrines first. Ooh, what are you? Dangerous. I feel like this is a sign. I feel like this is a sign that the stream should be over. Like, I can't with this. This is ridiculous. I just wanted to make it to the water place. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to make it to the water. We need a horse. That's the problem. Where is my damn horse? It's so far away. So you're saying that if I fast traveled to this shrine, the horse would come with me? We're gonna just try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. <laughs> We're gonna see if it works, and then that way we can ride our horse, because this is too much of that horse. Way too much. Way too much. At the entrance of the town? Okay, we'll try it. Will it come to me over here? No. Well, let's go to the entrance. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. Check the map. She's at Dueling Peaks. Alright, let's just go there. It's fine. It's, not a, it's honestly not that much farther away. We'll grab her from the Dueling Peaks uh, stable and then we'll head over. Cheeser because she's blue and I really like Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe. It's that simple. <laughs> I don't blame you for being scared of Lapis. She's a little she's a little temperamental. Alright, let's look at the map. So we need to go all the way over there. We have quite a journey ahead of us. I guess we do go through Kakariko Village, though. <laughs> Red Hood! Come on in! <laughs> Lapras from Pokemon! Well, that works, too. That works, too. I do like a Lapras. I've been playing Pokemon Go. Have you all been playing Pokemon Go? I didn't realize that it had, like, had a little bit of a, like, people have started playing it again. I've played it for years. And I always go through, like, stages of playing it versus not playing it. And the summer is usually when I start playing it again. But I've seen that people are, like, interested in playing it, which got me interested in playing it. I 
added my um, Pokemon Go like friend code to the Discord under game handles. If anybody wanted to add me. Um, also, if you haven't already, like, put your game handles for, like, the Switch or whatever, if you want to play with friends in the Discord, um, you should put your game handles in there. Lapras. Lapis. Now I'm calling her Lapras. That was rude. Talk to the man behind me. You mean Hestu? We've already talked to Hestu. I don't think I have enough. Do I have enough? It's all right. We can always come back to him. Why am I such a goat murderer? I did that last stream too. Oh my god. Wait, get away from me. I'm not safe. I can't believe that. We're gonna need a freaking goat murder counter at this rate. Literally the worst. Oh, no. Alright, let's go through go through town at like an absolutely glacial pace. go through town though which way do I need to go to the right right yeah I think that I can, I can fly down but then we won't have a horse I don't know I know booty I'm literally the worst like I don't even get to call myself a vegan I don't even get to call myself a vegan Come on, chill out. Everything's fine. All right, so I don't think we can take you down here, but maybe we can call you once we get down there. Let's try it. Let's save. Um, I am. I am vegan. I'm not overly pressed about like virtual meat though i am a very like chill practical vegan like i don't care about eating meat in games i think the representation is cool like to have like vegan representation in games is kind of fun like in sims like i love being a vegetarian and stuff um but I don't, like, it doesn't bother me. I overly like hunting in games. Like, I feel bad. Okay, so Lapis can't come, which sucks. But that's all right. Um, but it's not like, yeah. yeah, PETA is, listen. PETA gives actual vegans a very bad name. Like, it's. PETA is so extra and not practical, it's not even funny. Like, I just... I don't know. Back up, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't remember how to fight. Yeah, PETA is just, like, extra. Like, they, I remember they made a whole big thing about, like, fishing in Animal Crossing, and I was just like, it's virtual fish. Like, honestly, that helps the cause. Like, let people play virtual fishing games, and then maybe they won't have to actually fish. Like, I just, I don't know. There's no logic. There's no logic. Back it up, sir. Wait, how did you just hit me through my freaking shield? Let's eat something. Right? No, I remember that. Yeah, I've been vegan for like over 10 years. Um, but I'm not I talk about it on stream and stuff because it's part of my identity. 
I mean, I, I don't love it as an identity. I just, I, it's just, you know, it's part of my life. So I talk about it. Um, but I see my ability to be vegan as a very distinct privilege. I don't assign morality to it. I would never expect people to go vegan. Um, I think it's a personal choice. I have a lot of reasons why I think that vegan, being vegan is a, is a good choice. And I think that if you have the ability to do it, I think it's a healthy choice. Um, and it's good for the planet. And there's a lot that I think that is great about it, but it's not something that I'm ever going to be like, everybody should be vegan because it's just, that's just not true. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. Whereas V like whereas PETA's like, if you're not vegan, you're a horrible person. And I'm just like, okay, PETA, but like income inequality exists and food deserts exist, and like a whole lot of reasons that people might not be vegan exist, including culture. Uh, because I'm not vegan, but I like to eat a bunch of meat. Oh, I don't like to. What are some good sources of iron? Um that's a really good question. So I'm not a nutritionist, but Things that I eat for iron are dried figs actually have a lot of iron in them. Um, blackstrap molasses. So I'll like use that in a lot of baking and stuff. Um, also, like weirdly enough, just cooking your food in a cast iron pot actually gives you iron, um, which is like maybe seems unbelievable, but it's actually true. Um... I don't, those are like the, the big ones. I don't know if Fig Newtons are actually like, hmm, I don't know if Fig Newtons are actually enough fig to actually count. Um, iron supplements exist, but they can be a little bit rough on your system. What is this? How do I drain the water? Gotta drain the water. How do I drain the water? Um, those are the big ones, but honestly, a, sup a simple Google search will, will tell you some good plant-based forms of, of, uh, iron. For me, iron is never an issue. The bigger issue is, um, like things like calcium, B vitamin B12 is like the one that you actually have to like um, worry about as a vegan. Like you can't get it from plant-based sources, so you do have to supplement. Come back to people knocking on your door, forcing things on you. Exactly. Nobody likes to be forced to do anything. I have been vegan for 12 or 13 years. A long time. And then I was vegetarian before that. I went vegetarian at like 12, 13. So it's been a very long time since I've eaten meat. Um, I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Hmm. Okay. Oh. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. I think I get it. Perception is very off always. Like, to me, that should have been under it. <laughs> Why? Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. We've got this. Come on. This seems hard, and for what? 
Okay. 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 Woo! Look at that! Big as a fruit! Yes, and then if you dry them, um, they're really good, and they, they last forever, and they're just, it's just great. Just great. Alright. That was not too bad. Uh, of course there's more to it. Why wouldn't there be? Okay. Let's get that thing that we left in there. I'm assuming we need it again. Oh no. Okay. Why would it be simple? Use your brain meat. <laughs> I know, I like, but I like, that's what I like about Zelda games, the puzzle. I, I'm not like super expert at them, and I'm sure people figure them out a lot faster than I do, but I, oop, for example. trash. It's been a bit, though. It's definitely been a bit since I've played. Okay. So how do I get it in there with that still there? That's the question. Will I be able to get it? What am I doing? I think I'll be able to get it in there. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's making my brain hurt. Cam, it's good to see you. Welcome on in. What to do i know what to do i figured it out hang on i figured it out i figured it out come here come here come here i need you wait come here everybody wait till you see how smart i am wait till you see okay come here come here come here come here no damn it Gently. Wait! Stay up there, please. Stay up there, please! Oh. Okay. Did it work? Did it work? I feel so smart. Oh, I love it when I'm smart. I love it when I'm smart! Okay. Good to see you. Um, hello? Where is there a chest? Did I miss the chest? Was I not smart enough for the chest? Did I speak too soon? Are you over here? Aha! 
You thought I would leave without getting the chest? Never. Except for that last one that I absolutely hated. And my inventory is full. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of some dumb weapon that we have, like this tree branch. Skara, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Okay, so we got... Did we get that sword just now? Yeah, okay. Great. You like the Brewster notification? I freaking love Brewster, and I cannot wait for Brewster to come to Animal Crossing New Horizons. What do you mean? What What do you do? What What do you mean, Silky? What do you mean? What do you mean, Silky? Um, this is just a new playthrough. It's not master mode. I, I'm not interested in master mode. Uh, sulky, sulky, you made that. I love you. Look at that new emote. Everybody, subscribe to sulky just to use that emote. Bush, Nancy, who are you? Who are you? Wait, it's not coming up for me. Why? Rude. Oh, well, I'm tier three sub for you, so I don't know. I'm so excited for Breath of the Wild 2. You have no idea. that. Honestly, that's why we're playing the game. We want to do like a full completion uh, of this game before the second one comes out. We are doing all the DLC. Um... And we're going to see about how many Koroks we can get. I don't know if we'll actually get all 900. But I've never done it. I've never done it. So I guess it depends on how long it takes for them to release Breath of the Wild 2. Because maybe we'll have plenty of time to get all of the... All of the freaking Koroks before they come out. If you never fast travel, encountering them is fast. Oh, see, that's the problem, because I fast travel. A lot. A lot, a lot. All right, am I going the right way? I am. I don't know if we're going to make it there before the end of this stream, because I am getting a little bit tired. We have been live for, what, five hours? I am getting a little bit sleepy. I don't want to mess with this guy. I never, I'm not going to survive messing with this guy. No, no, just leave me alone. I'm just passing through. I'm just, I'm just on my way, you know? Yeah, I know there's 900 and we've found four. <laughs> We're doing so well! Come on! We're doing so well. I do like this area. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Forgot the lyrics. Hello? You look like something yummy to eat. Fleet lotus seeds. I love ducks. favorite environment though. Bye gnome, enjoy the day. I'll see you soon, my friend. I'll see you soon. Trin the raccoon, welcome on in. I love raccoons. Very, very much. I think that they're extremely cute. Actually, I wish there were raccoons in this game. Something, something, I'm homebound. Yeah, I don't know. Face is path and I'm homebound. Oh my goodness. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, we're not ready for you. Mm -mm. I don't want to know about you. We are not ready for you in the slightest. Just 
Stay sleeping. Stay sleeping. Don't wake up. Kenza, welcome on in. <gasps> Why are you talking to me? Thank you for the follow, my friend. Hi. Oh, it's you. Maybe we will make it. I am a Hylian, wouldn't you know? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Don't do, don't rush me. Jeez, we're wandering aimlessly, making our way there. Ah. I love the Zora. I do. <laughs> like a nice barrel over there. All right, ma'am. See, it's a nice barrel. That rustic, iron studded, big. All right. Um, where did she just tell us to go? Over here? Is this where we're supposed to go? I like Prince Sidon. Uh, some of the barrels explode. I feel like this is not right. I feel like all we're gonna get over here is nonsense. Go this way. I think this is maybe the way. You look like a very annoying thing to fight, so let's save. first. Me. I got a pokey thing too. My pokey thing is bigger than your pokey thing. Boom. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. A joust. Yeah, I suppose that's the technical term for it, but I like pokey thing. thing is gone, so I need a new thing. Mm. Okay. What was that? Who's, who threw that at me? Somebody just chucked something at me. Oh, God. Only one pokey thing holder can win this. Exactly. And it's gonna be me gonna be me. Look how pretty. <gasps> we could just, we just stop for the sunset for just a moment and appreciate it. Just a moment. Ugh. Are we going the right way? That is the question. I feel like we are. I feel like this is right. I got a big weapon. I don't want to know about that. Get that weapon away from me. Oh! <gasps> Set. No, back to you. Meh, <laughs> I can swim and you can't. Alright, so far away. I feel like we need to call it here. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy and I feel like I don't have it in me to like actually fight all these bad guys. Um because I just don't. I just don't. So next stream which is going to be on Thursday, Thursday at 5 p.m. We will make it to Zora's domain um, and maybe even be like really ambitious and, and actually do the Divine Beast. I don't know. We'll see. I do have a pet. You want to see? You want to see? This is Moon. And he's got a pride bandana on that says, 
proud pet. Because he's got two mommies that he loves, and he's very proud of them. <laughs> um, but yes, we will be live again on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be playing more Breath of the Wild. Next weekend, we're probably also going to play a little bit of Monster, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Maybe we'll do that on Saturday. I don't know. Um, but I'd like to start making some serious progress in Breath of the Wild. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out today. I loved our chats. I know we chatted for like two and a half hours, um, but I loved it and I needed it. Um, so I love you all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me for five freaking hours. Um, should we do a raid? Let's Let's send you somewhere cute, okay? Let's send you somewhere cute. Let's see where we got. Let's see where we got to send you here. Let's see. Um, hmm. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to head right now? Um, hmm. Choices. We have lots of choices. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm indecisive. I'm indecisive. All right, I figured it out. We're good now. We, I don't think, have ever raided this person, but they've raided us a few times. Um, so let's go say hi to Sparksby, who's actually playing um, Spirit Fair right now, which I think a lot of you would really like. Thank you all for hanging out today and being just the cutest and sweetest beans. Um, I appreciate you more than you know, more than you know. I had an absolute blast today, um, and I cannot wait to stream again on Thursday and just be back to our regular streaming schedule. Um, I'll be around in the Discord um, this week. We do game night on Mondays, anime night on Tuesdays, so if you haven't already joined the Discord, go ahead and join. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all the places, um, and... Uh, yeah, so the regular schedule, if you do exclamation schedule, it'll, it'll put it in the chat, but basically we're live Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays for the time being. Um, there are some changes coming to the schedule, but not yet. So, um, for now that's, that's our schedule. Um, and yeah, thanks for being the absolute most wholesome beans. I love you endlessly. Um, and I will see you around town. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Um. And yeah, be kind on the raid. Take care. Bye-bye.